Hello, everyone. I hit the wrong song, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> Hi, happy Saturday. How's it going? I hope you're all having a lovely weekend so far. Happy Saturday evening for... I don't know if I've streamed on a Saturday oh, night big. before. <laughs> um, but hello. Uh, hello. An okay guy. Zero. Hello, King Frogman the First. Hello, Terathiel. Seeker Ralix. Adam hey. Admar. Crater Unreal. Uh, Xanathus. Mooware. Hello. Welcome. Oh, today was Sunday. <laughs> Hello, Cure. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, hello, Andy. I think that's everyone. Hi. Welcome. Uh, what was it? The Pokemon speak in pre-stream chat? I was just testing some things. Uh, it didn't It didn't work out well, so <laughs> I'm doing a different thing. Hello, Skeleton Witch. Uh, yeah, so before we start, I'm going to be playing Icewind Dale tonight, and you can be part of the party. Uh, you just have to hit the Icewind Dale character raffle, uh, channel point redeem for 50 channel points, uh, and I will add you to the raffle. If you win the raffle, uh, then you get to tell me what class, race, alignment, character name you want for your character, you and I'll add you to the party. Hello, where Dito. Hello, James. Welcome. Um, and if you don't know anything about D&D, that is okay, because I did do a little write-up um, that we'll go over together, uh, and I'll post it in chat, too. My goodness. Uh, on Icewind Dale classes and uh, some raffle rules. Boom. Boom. Pin that. I don't need Intel on the stream, but whatever. I spent time on it. It can stay pinned. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Icewind Dale. I so I've never actually beaten a uh, Infinity Engine game before. That's not true. I have to interrupt myself because I did beat Planescape Torment which is an Infinity Engine game. I actually like that game quite a lot. I forget it's Infinity Engine because it is so unlike Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dale. Um, but yes, I have beaten that one. Um, I've never played Icewind Dale before, though. Um, this will be my first time updating my journal. <laughs> Man, playing Scape Torment is so good. Uh, hello, Pumpkin Girl, welcome. Yeah, it's more combat-oriented. And you make your own party as opposed to having like, you know, story NPCs. So that's why I decided to do that this game for this kind of stream. Uh, yeah, Torment is an all-time classic, absolutely. Um, so yeah, that, that is the plan. Uh, I'm also doing the enhanced edition of Icewind Dale, which uh, adds some quality of life stuff. It makes it run on modern computers. And also adds a bunch of class options, which is also why I decided to choose that version for the stream, because it gives you more more options uh, if you win the raffle. Um, yeah. So, oh, okay. I was like, is the next song not starting? Um, is there anything else I need to talk about? I don't think I do. Uh, this document is kind of long because there are a lot of um. <laughs> There are a lot of classes, so we let's let's dig in, let's dive in together, and I'll tell you all about Dungeons and Dragons, specifically Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Although there is a couple rules from Third Edition in the Enhanced Edition for some reason. Uh, is there a dark mode option for Google Docs? This is blinding me. <laughs> I think it's probably Ooh. fine. Hello, Neo Zero. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Tang Witch. Welcome. You already know what you want. Good. That's excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so a couple rules. Um, if you're selected to win, preferably let me know your preferred class, race, alignment, gender, and name. Uh, feel free to be dis 
descriptive or not as you want if you don't know um uh if you don't know anything about D, that's fine but you're like i want to be you know a caster or i want to be a fighter uh i guess fighter is a class i want to be a frontline person or a backline person uh that's totally fine um if you want to be you know more specific i want a guy who's lawful neutral he's an elf shapeshifter druid named eltriac that's also fine it is yes um it is the enhanced edition um hello dog in a cup welcome and i don't know anything about multi-classing or dual classing so if you want that please give me like a specific plan for your character um you know start with fighter at level two take cleric or whatever um that's fine just you know if you know what you're doing that's great just also tell me hello kala how are you doing um but yeah so the classes there are 11 classes in icewind dale enhanced edition each class uh except for one has a number of class kits uh Oh my gosh, I forgot to write that in the, the raffle rules. Um, one class kit per winner. So what that means is if someone is like, I want to be a fighter, uh, that means the base fighter is locked off, but all the class kits for fighter are still available. So we can have a fighter, a Kensai, um, but not two Kensai or two like just pure fighters. Um, just for a little div diversity. And I would like to end up with a a party that I can win the game with. <laughs> so, with all that said, the first class is Bard. Bard is a jack of all trades. Uh, they can do just about anything. They can pick pockets like thieves. Uh, they can cast arcane spells. They get new uh, Bard songs. Uh, they have melee and ranged capabilities. Um, their unique ability is Bard songs, which they get one every other level. Uh, they do a variety of effects um mostly buffing um some like anti enemy stuff um i think there's one that like enthralls enemies but most of them are like buffing they're mostly a support character however with their class kits that changes a bit uh so the blade um you only have access to the first song which is a, a pure like plus one ac damage and to hit uh modifiers um, you have half the no normal lore and pickpocket skills, but you get special powers called offensive spin and defensive spin that increases your attack uh, or defense by quite a bit. So this is a more combat-oriented bard. There's the Jester, uh, which is lo loses all access to all the regular bard songs, but they get a special Jester song that increases over, you know, gets buffed as you level up, um, and it debuffs enemies, confuses them, slows them down. Uh, uh, what's the last one? Knocks them unconscious. Um, so there's that. Hello, Camping Luna. Don't have a clue about a name. Well, I mean, the name could also just be your name. It can just be, you know, Skeleton Witch. I don't really. <laughs> it's Alex here. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lore appropriate name. Um, the Scald also is similar to the jester they lose access to all the standard bard songs they get way less pickpocket skills but they have increased attack and damage and they get a special song that increases uh to hit damage and ac for all party members so kind of a combat oriented but still supports bard all right clerics uh clerics if you're familiar with like white mages in final fantasy Clerics are similar. They cast a bunch of support magic, but uh, as opposed to white mages who are, you know, backline support characters, clerics wear late mail. Uh, they wade into the front lines with maces and shields and crack some skulls in addition to casting spells. Also, most like healing spells tend to be like touch range. So you have to be like right next to someone if you want to heal them. Uh... So, yeah, they are frontline divine casters. Um, they can wear any armor and helmets. They can wield any non bladed or piercing weapons, so maces, warhammers, etc. They can turn undead, uh, which causes undead to move away from you. Um, and at higher levels, will outright destroy weaker undead. 
and it can cast priest spells. Uh, the class kits are all based around specific gods of Forgotten Realms, uh, the campaign setting that Icewind Dale takes place in. So, Priest of Helm, uh, you have to be lawful or true, true neutral alignment. You can cast True Sight once per day, and you can cast Seeking Sword once per day, uh, which just equips you with a plus four sword uh, that gives you three attacks per round, but you can't cast any spells while you're wielding it. Uh, I don't think Erogalon is an option, or it's not a class kit anyway. Uh, a Priest of Lathander has to be lawful or true neutral, um, or I think has to be good or true neutral, I forget now. Uh, you can cast Hold Undead one, once per day, and Boon of Lathander, which gives the caster plus one to attack, damage, saving throws, and an extra attack per round. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Priest of Talos is an uh, Talos is an evil god of storms, so you have to be evil or chaotic neutral. You can cast Lightning Bolt and Storm Shield uh, once per day. And most of the, these things, by the way, that say once per day, uh, they give you more uses um, as you level up. I just... This is all summarized from the Icewind Dale fandom wiki, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I just wanted to write them down in one spot for for easy consumption. Uh, Tempest is a chaotic god, so you get holy power and chaos of battle once per day, which randomly buffs all allies and debuffs all enemies. And it chooses between armor class, hit points, Thacko, saves, or luck to buff or debuff. Weird spell. And then Tear uh, must be good or lawful neutral. You can cast Exaltation, which basically removes every debuff from one person. And you can cast Divine Favor, which gives you plus one to hit and damage for a couple rounds. Uh, yeah, Clerics are good support classes. Druids. Druids are uh, nature casters. Hey, Sara Lenny, how are you doing? Um, you can, they have a bunch of different things they can do, similar to bards, I suppose. Um, you can wear non-metallic armor and shields, you can use a limited selection of weapons. Uh, back hurts. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your back feels better soon. Um, you can cast druid spells, which is a kind of separate thing. Similar to Divine Spells, but it's kind of its own category. And you can shapeshift, starting at level uh, level 5, and you get new forms every other level. Um, each one is like a specific animal or monster you can shapeshift into. And you have to be true neutral alignment if you're a druid. I cast Magic Meowsel. <laughs> uh, the class kits for druid, uh, Totemic Druid... You lose the ability to, sh to shapeshift, but you can summon a spirit animal companion once per day, and they can be selected from a few forms. They get stronger every other level. Shapeshifters can't wear any armor, and you don't get any of the shapeshifting forms as a normal druid, but instead you can turn into a werewolf once per day. And I think later on you can turn into a greater werewolf, which I... I don't know what makes it greater, but... It is. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, Avengers can't wear armor heavier than leather. They get negative two to strength and constitution, uh, but they get access to arcane spells, specific ones, one per level up to six level, and they get a couple extra shape-shifting forms. I don't know what the deal was with Avengers. They seem kind of weird. Um, but yeah, Druids seem good. Um, this also has the expansion, which I think adds, um, some druid spells, which are really good, so, yeah. Yeah, druids. Uh, yeah, wolf dancing, there you go. <laughs> Alright, fighters. Well, you fight. Fighters fight, that's, that's kind of all they do. You can wear any armor, you can wear helmets, you can use any weapon, you get more attacks as you level up, you fight. And as you level up, you get better at fighting. Um, class kits kind of specialize these a bit. Um, so the first one is Berserker. 
Uh, important note, Berserkers are not Barbarians. Uh, Berserkers cannot specialize in ranged weapons, and they get the ability to Rage, uh, which gives them a bunch of bonuses uh, and temporary hit points. But after they're, they're done Raging, they become Winded, and they get some debuffs for a time. Wizard Slayers. Well, Slay Wizards. Um, you can't use magic items except for weapons and armor. Uh, attacks and attacks build spell failure chance on the target, and you get innate magic resistance over the t over time. Kensai are weird. I hear Kensai are kind of broken, honestly, but I don't know that personally. That's just what I've heard. Kensai cannot wear any armor, cannot use ranged weapons, cannot wear gauntlets or bracers, but they get plus two to AC, they get plus one to attack and damage every three levels. They get plus one to speed factor every four levels, and they can use an ability called Kai once per day, which says all attacks within the next 10 seconds, which is a weird uh, frame of time considering how D&D works, uh, but all attacks within the next 10 seconds deal maximum damage. Uh, so you don't roll, it just, you know, if it's 1d8, you do eight damage. Uh, in this case, how it's written, Plus two AC means your AC improves by two. Uh, Dwarven Defender, you have to be a dwarf. Go figure. Uh, that's the only downside. You get a D12 hit die instead of D10. And you can use Defensive Stance once per day, which halves your movement rate. But you also get 50% resistance to physical damage and plus two to saving throws. Uh, barbarians. <laughs> Important, not a Berserker. They're Barbarians. Uh, they can't wear armor heavier than Splint Mail. They move two points faster than other characters. They're immune to backstabs, which is a weird thing. And they could, they get their own rage, uh, which gives them plus four to strength and con. It's a different kind of rage than Berserkers. Um, they also don't get winded when it's over. Um, they get more health, and they gain resistance to physical damage at level 11. I'm going to change the song. There we go. To something louder. <laughs> uh, mages. Magic can do literally anything. Uh, over time, mages, especially in AD&D, is... Uh, yeah, I think it's 10 actual seconds, which is why it's weird, because everything else in the wiki specifies things in rounds or turns. But this Kai is the only thing where it says it lasts 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sure. Uh, yeah, as you level up in, um, as a mage, you get the, you get spells that can do literally anything. You can unlock doors like thieves. You can, you know, detect traps. Uh, you can set things on fire, whatever you're, whatever you want, really. Uh, you can't wear any armor. You can only use a few basic weapons, but you can cast arcane spells which are very powerful. Um, yeah, you are super weak, though. You are a backline uh, party member forever. You can spe you can become a specialist mage. You can specialize in one school of magic, which does a couple things, but basically you get more of the magic you specialize in and you have an opposing school that you get uh, you can't cast spells in that school. Basically, remember way back in the day, Mage is not even getting a con bonus to HP. That's really funny. <laughs> Your wizard in uh, Baldur's Gate 1 dying from the feedback of her familiar dying several times. Oh no. <laughs> uh, the other class kit is Wild Mage, which, uh, when casting, there's a 5% chance of incurring a Wild Surge, which generates a completely random effect. Which could be good, could be bad. It's random. It's wild. Uh, you can also memorize an additional spell per level, and you get a couple bonus spells in there too. Does this game have minimum ability scores for each class? I don't know, to be honest. Monks. Monks are just kind of word soup. They get a whole bunch of, of stuff. They're basically frontline unarmed fighters. Um, it should if it's Infinity Engine. Okay, there you go. They can't wear any armor. They move faster than other characters. 
Um, you get like bonus unarmed attacks per round. Oh, it raises your ability to the required score. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think this has any dice rolling in it, or rolling for for uh, stats in this. Um, you get extra saving throws versus spells. You get extra AC versus missile attacks. Uh, you get bonus AC just innately over time. You get a special thing called Stunning Blow. Uh, you get even more bonuses with levels. Seriously, the amount of stuff you get with this class is kind of nuts. You straight up are immune to non-magical weapons at level 20. What the hell? <laughs> Clearly, I I got to a point where I didn't want to write down everything anymore. <laughs> I kind of sat down and wrote all of this in one sitting. So at this point, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to copy down everything that monks get. They get everything. Uh, you also have to be neutral alignment. Yeah, level 20 is like... I. That's a really high level. Um, that might be max level, actually. Uh, AC is armor class, yeah. They have two class kits. The Dark Moon Monk must be lawful evil. You don't get Lay on Hands or Stunning Blow. Oh yeah, Lay on Hands is another thing you can get as a monk. Instead, you can d detect illusions. You can use a an ability called Frozen Fist which deals additional cold damage with unarmed attacks, and you get some random arcane spells over time. Uh, and the Sun Soul Monk must be lawful good. Can't use the Stunning Blower equivalent to Palms, but you can throw laser beams <laughs> instead. Seriously, you get sun-based abilities uh, over different levels. You get a Sun Soul Ray, Flaming Fist, Greater Sun, and Sun Soul Beam. So you get two different kinds of laser beams. Well, this is the Enhanced Edition, so they might have bumped up the uh, the cap. I don't know. This game apparently goes up to level 30. All right, there you go. <laughs> Sun Goku. <laughs> Oh, you do roll stats. It just raises the stats to the minim minimum. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I very much doubt I'll ever reach level 30. Paladins. Paladins are fighters with a more uh, divine flair to them, I guess. Uh, they're frontline support fighters. You can wear helmets, any armor, use any weapon. You can use lay on hands to uh, heal others. Um, you can cure diseases, you can cast Detect Evil, you can cast Protection from Evil, you can Smite Evil, uh, just fuck evil, I guess. <laughs> you can turn Undead eventually, and you can eventually cast Priest Spells, plus your doll saving throws, immune to disease, becomes immune to fear, must be lawful good, and you gain extra attacks over time like a fighter. Um, unless you're the Blackguard class kit, in which case you have to be evil, and all your good abilities turn evil. You get absorb health instead of lay on hands. You drain health. Yeah, it's also just a video game. Like, <laughs> it, it uses AD&D as a base, but, you know, makes changes along the way. Um, Cavaliers. I don't really understand the, the point of Cavaliers. I guess you get plus three to hit and damage rolls against demons, devils, dragons, and wyverns. You're immune to a few things. Uh, Inquisitors. Um, actually, Inquisitors seem kind of ridiculous. Inquisitors can't turn undead. They can't lay on hands, cure disease, or cast priest spells, but they can cast Dispel Magic once per day at speed factor 1 and at twice the Inquisitor's level. Huh. Yeah, the things they lose are kind of big. They can also cast True Sight once per day, and they're immune to Hold and Charm. Uh, undead Hunter. Cannot use Lay on Hands or Cure Disease, but they get, they get bonuses against Undead, and they're immune to Hold and Level Drain. Rangers. Uh, Rangers are kind of versatile melee or ranged fighters. Um, they can wear helmets, any armor, use any weapon. Uh, they begin specialized in two weapon style. They can select a racial enemy, which they get a bonus against when they fight them. Um, 
They can use tracking charm animal. They can hide in shadows. And eventually they can cast some druid magic. They have to be good. And they gain some attacks over time. Uh, archers. Can you guess what archers do? Yeah, they specialize in ranged weapons. <laughs> I, I wrote so many words. I'm, I'm just like, okay, it's time to get through this. Uh, stalkers are kind of like thief, thief rangers. Do they throw arrows? They shoot slings. Yeah, they shoot slings out of bows. Uh, and then Beastmasters um, get a Find Familiar ability to summon a Pseudo Dragon or Fairy Dragon, and they can start casting Animal Summoning at level 6. Thank you for the Hydrate, Wordito. I, I might be a little parched. Alright, Shaman. Uh... Shaman are an interesting class. They're kind of the sorcerers of druid magic. Uh, because, like sorcerers, instead of um, getting access to all the spells in the level and, like, you need to memorize spells, uh, you can cast a certain number of, of uh, spells per level and you only get a limited selection of those spells. But you can choose from among all of the ones you know when you cast a spell. Um... They also get a ability called Shamanic Dance, uh, which you can't perform any other action and you get a penalty to AC while you're dancing, but every round you have a chance to summon spirits. And those spirits grow in number and power as you gain levels. So kind of interesting. I have to be neutral. Um, no class kits for this one. I don't think this was in, Shamans were in base Icewind Dale, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Sorcerers. Uh, sorcerers are like wizards, but they have the shaman thing. Uh, you don't have to plan your memory spells ahead of time. Um, they only have one class kit, uh, which is Dragon Disciple. You get one less spell per level per day, uh, you, but you're a freaking dragon now. Um, you get a bunch of bonuses as you level up, and you get your own breath weapon starting at level three, so you can set things on fire. Uh, once per day plus. Um, you also get more hit points. Thieves! Sneaky little jerk that does stuff most others can't. Um, you're not super good at combat, but you can open locks, pick pockets, find traps, move silently, hide in shadows, detect illusions, and set traps. You can also backstab or sneak attack. Uh... This is, so you can choose whether you use backstab or sneak attack rules. Backstab is, uh, either way, you have to be hitting the back of a, a creature, an enemy. Backstab is, they can't be seeing you. And sneak attack is just, you have to be behind them, basically. Um, sorcerers and shamans are in the original. Okay. Um, backstab deals more damage. Uh, but sneak attack is easier to to do, basically. Um, of the class kits, you have Assassin, um, which lets you backstab or sneak attack even harder and also poison your weapon. So they're a little bit more combat focused, uh, but you get less thief skill points over time. Yeah, class kits for sure are new for the enhanced edition. Uh, Bounty Hunters, I, you get a bonus to set traps. That, that might be good. I don't know. Um, Shadow Dancer. It's a little bit easier to hide with them, but you get less thief skill points per level. Um, and Swashbucklers. Uh, you can't backstab or sneak attack at all, but you're just better at combat in exchange, and you get more AC as well. So there you go. That's all 11 classes and all their class kits. Uh, for Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition. If you want to look at this, um, this, uh, this page, I have it pinned in chat. Uh, it does. I don't know where, though. I, I didn't write that part down. <laughs> um, this was taken from the Icewind Dale wiki. It's a fandom wiki. Uh, I'll go to the class page. So 
So if you want more info, you can look look them up here. All right. Now, I was going to have it so that, you know, uh, I have got the wheel thing in Sammy. Um, so I was just going to have it like when you put set off a, uh, uh, a thing, um, the channel point redeem will just automatically add you to the, uh, the raffle. It's not working. I couldn't get it to work. It kept crashing Sammy when I tried. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to make my own wheel. Screw it. Um, so with that said, uh, this is a final call. Um, I guess not necessarily a final call because I'm going to roll the raffle five times. Um, but if you would like to be part of the party, now is your time to uh, do the channel point redeem. I need to open up the list to see who has put in redeem so far. Yeah. <laughs> Put your quarter on the Icewind Dale cabinet. <laughs> I'm just gonna write everyone's name down on the, the list. You accept silver, I suppose. Hello, Thorin. Hello, I asked. Welcome. Good evening. Marici, dog in a cup. Okay. So, on the wheel, I have Creator Unreal, Adam Admar, Xanathus, Cure Wonderful. Skeleton Witch, an OK Guy Zero, Seeker Relics, Werdito, James Tarr, Andy is Bad at Games, Tang Witch, Ashley Nito, Pumpkin Girl, Calamarichi, Dog in a Cup, King Frogman the First, Thorin 181, IS Does Things, and Sara Lene. If you did not hear your name <laughs> and you're pretty sure that you entered into the raffle, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that's everyone. I have 19 redeems. I have 19 inputs. All right. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I'm gonna spin the wheel now. Good luck, everyone. Our first party member is... Here, wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, who would you like to be? Kala is a bunny of chaos. I suppose I should also, like, launch the game, huh? What are the available races? Good question. Let me, uh... Load up the game and I, I will show you. Hey, Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to Cure. All right. Okay. Oh, right. When I click out of this, the music is going to pause. I, I didn't see an option to, like, turn that off, so a little soft to deal. Hello, Ramses. Welcome. Uh, Cure, you get to be the first party member, so let me know. What do you, uh, what do you want to be? All right. Oh, I think it plays the, the opening video. So we get to watch that. <laughs> they say that history is the greatest of all teachers. Oh. And the tales of past deeds define who we are in the present and what we shall be in the future. It is said that such tales shall, with each telling, illuminate us all with the light of truth. This 
narrator sounds really familiar. Of such a tale. It is a tale quite familiar to me, for I have spent nearly a lifetime piecing it together and chronicling it here within this book. For years I have pondered its passages, studying every line, committing each word to memory. Perhaps <laughs> now, in the telling of it, I shall at last find the answers I seek. Our story takes place in the northern region of Faerun, known as Icewind Dale. It is a harsh, frozen land, cut off from the rest of the world by a wall of jagged peaks called the Spine of the World. Oh, is, is it Jim Cummings? Okay. The icy plains of the Dale have been oh. home to the barbarian peoples of the Uthgard and Regedmen. David Ogden Steers. Okay. Huddled together in small, closely knit tribes, the barbarians lived simple lives, free, proud, and fiercely independent. Well, that's okay. If you just have like a general concept, named that's totally cool. Came to Icewind today. If you want to think about it for a while, I can I can roll again. Um, With an army of mercenaries, Arakan sought to conquer the North and force the fierce barbarians into slavery. Long weeks of battle followed, and the scattered barbarian tribes suffered terrible losses. Defeat seemed inevitable. Basically Skyrim, yeah. In their darkest hour, a barbarian shaman named Gerard came forth and demanded a council between all the remaining tribes of the north. A respected warrior, Jared persuaded the council to put aside their differences and unite against Erekon. Strengthened by a new sense of purpose, the barbarians rallied behind their new leader. The combined might of the Northmen proved more than a match for Erekon, who had counted on the division of the tribes. Wave after wave of barbarian warriors tore into Arakan's hired army, forcing them on the defensive and ultimately into full retreat. As his army crumbled around him, Arakan had time for one last desperate act before his enemies descended upon him. Drawing upon his remaining power, the Archmage breached the planar boundaries, tearing open a portal to the lower plains. Oh. The foolish Archmage's cries of victory immediately turned to shrieks of terror as the hideous and twisted shapes of demon kind materialized from the portal and poured onto the battlefield. I hate when that happens. The sudden appearance of the demons drove the combatants, barbarian and mercenary alike, to turn to meet the new threat side That's by so side. True. <laughs> An elf bard? Okay. The bravely charged the portal to drive the hellspawn back and were slaughtered by the hundreds. As his people fell around him, the barbarian shaman, Jared, looked up from the blood-drenched snow of the battlefield and caught sight of a lone figure high upon a ridge in the distance. Oh. Jared immediately recognized this vision as an omen from his god, Tempus. And in that instant, he knew what had to be done. Shouting cries to his god, he charged through the ranks of the demons and plunged into the portal. Portal noises. <laughs> As Jared's blood fused with the energies of the portal, an explosion of white light engulfed the battlefield. When the light subsided, the demons were gone, and the portal was closed. In its place hovered a disk of solid stone. Frozen within the center of the disk was Jared's body, locked in his final moment of agony, in his final moment of triumph for all eternity. But that is not the end of our tale. Well, I should hope not. It I haven't played the video game yet. But the beginning. Stock in Carbonite forever. Damn. Who amongst us has not been... <laughs> has not had that happen to them? All right, we're gonna start a new game. So uh, you you get pre-generated these uh, six losers. We're gonna delete all of them. All right, we're gonna create a new character. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I do have to ask for, for which gender you would like. Uh, sadly, there's only men or women. Into the bin they go. Get lost, losers. Go back to the inn. You're not wanted here. Do you get to play as the Carbonite Wheel? I hope so. That would be excellent. As a girl? Okay. Uh... Alright, let me, let me find someone elfy for you. I like this one. Although, kind of more of a warrior. Kind of a mage. Got some gnomes here. This one's kind of nice for an elf bard. Might have to be a half elf. Okay. Just going through all the portrait options. I like that they have a few different art styles here. That's kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. This is a powerful portrait right here. I, I am a big fan of this one. Perfect. Kitty. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking this one, unless you want... Unless you want the cat cure. <laughs> Do not fuck with Captain Cat Lady, exactly. Alright, for now... Do well with that one. You can pretend the porches have elf ears if you can't see them. True. Uh, we're gonna say elf. Nihab, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so elves can't be bards, um, but I think half elves can. That one's fine. Okay. Bard. Nya, nya. <laughs> uh, I think we'll probably just go with base bard, unless one of the class kids really spoke to you. Bard is a rogue, but they are very different from the thief. Bard's strength is their pleasant and charming personality. So true. Too snooty to sing, I guess. Uh, do you have a, a preference of alignment? You can be neutral, good, uh, lawful, neutral. You can be anything neutral, basically. <laughs> yeah, lots of reading. <laughs> I, actually, what does alignment actually, like, do in this game? Because there's not, not a whole lot of, like, role-playing, right? Chaotic neutral. I like it. Uh, chaotic neutral characters believe that there is no order to anything, including their own actions. Love it. Uh, abilities. Except for a couple magic user classes. Okay. Sounds rad. Uh, this is honestly pretty decent. Oh yeah, that makes sense, Seeker. Some equipment has restrictions, and some spells target characters of specific alignment. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, so I can I can pull things out. I guess high charisma is probably important. Um, I think they get arcane spells, and that's based off intelligence. Um. Store and Recall lets you hold stats to reuse if you don't get good rolls. Okay. Dex, Intelligence, Charisma are important. Okay. Constitution seems pretty nice too, just because health, but I think 14 is probably better. Um. Okay, we're going to store? Does anyone know? What would the... What would be a good total roll. <laughs> I don't actually know. Well, 79 is better than 77. I'm going to store that. 82 seems pretty nice. <laughs> Riz. <laughs> Anything 80 plus is pretty good. Okay. Higher... <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Uh, okay, so... Let's make sure you have 18 charisma for sure. Um, 
90 plus is very good, okay. I think this is probably a good spread. 18 Charisma, 16 in Dex and Con, or uh, Dex and Intelligence, 14 in Con, 10 in Strength, 8 in Wisdom. Unless I should just completely drain Wisdom and put in other stats. The character is Enlightenment, Judgment, and Common Sense. It's the prime requisite of priests. Pretty good? Alright. I don't really care too much about like super gaming the system but we do want you know good characters uh proficiency slots oh boy um this is a lot guessing we probably want like a bow not crossbow a lot uh, like a long bow and Probably a sword of some kind. A long sword is perhaps one of the most common weapons in Faerun, did you know? Alright. Dex is high, which helps range weapon accuracy. Okay, cool. Um, do you have a favorite color here? Sorry, you're the guinea pig for this whole thing. <laughs> I wish I could just have my, my clothes do this and just like pulse between colors constantly. That'd be cool. And not blinding at all. Yeah, you don't even see the hair on the bard sprite. <laughs> but it's there. Yeah, RGB clothing. Uh, maybe like a red or a pink. Let's say that's good for now. Oh my god. <laughs> you would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Your time draws near. Let's spill some blood. <laughs> oh my god. Twin X. Just a few voice options. My aim shall be true. Oh, what is default? You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. That's the same thing. A stout sword and sturdy shield can take you far. Onward to victory! It is an honor to lead. Let me at him. I shall slay you all. By Gerdal's shield. <laughs> Prepare to be destroyed. Yes, strong leadership is key. I must have rest. <laughs> Die, fool. Dash and slash. Let's dance. Uh, I like this one. Prepare to be destroyed. Yeah. All right. Name. Blah. Uh, let's see. I'm just scrolling up. Make sure the name is correct. Ah, it's you! <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, yeah, delicious smile. Alright. Good? I think it's good. Except. Oh, actually, let's say. Oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> well, okay. Uh. Character by. Here. On Durful. There we go. Except we did it. Our first, our first character in Icewind Dale. I'm sure the rest will go uh, much faster. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm gonna change your name back once the waiting period ends. Oh, gotcha. You won. I did it. We won. We basically beat the game. All right. Uh, right. I forgot it pauses the. Uh, It pauses the music when you do that. All right. Uh, here you are 
in the party. Let's see who is next. I, I wonder if I should roll everyone just so that you if you get picked, you know, like, uh, like you can start thinking about character concepts and stuff. Dog in a cup. You're in the party. Congratulations. You won. You won. What do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to embody? Congratulations. You won. Rolling everyone would be smart. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure that they are they they are here. Um, if you are here and your name is rolled, please say something so that I know that you're here thinking about your character. Uh, Dog in a Cup is probably playing Hell Divers right now. I'm going to send him a message. Uh, Dog is here. Oh, there you are. Want to be a ranger? Neutral good? Okay. Got it. Um... Welcome to the D&D world! <laughs> uh... Only humans and elves can be rangers. Okay. You want to be a human or an elf? Name Dog. I like it. Okay. Uh... I should probably write these down somewhere. Dog in a cup. A neutral good. Good ranger. Human. Human named dog. Okay. That's party member number two. So we have a bard and a ranger so far. Dog the bounty hunter. Oh my god, you're right. Calamarici. Calamarici, I hope you're still here because you just won. The price is Cala. <laughs> we are so back. <laughs> we're so back. We're so here. Um, gosh, I okay, I'm going to put music on while we do this. You've been waiting for this. Do you know? Do you know who you want to be? What you want to be? Rigged mods. I know. I rolled two of my mods so far. <laughs> you want to be a monk? Okay. So, uh, monks have to be... Neutral, I believe. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do monks need to be a certain um, race? I'm not sure. Give me the evilest alignment. I'm not sure if you can be evil. Monks are human only. Okay. Uh, yeah, monks have to be... You have to be lawful. Either lawful good, lawful neutral, or lawful evil. So you can be lawful evil. Or, yeah, you could also be uh, the Dark Moon Monk, which is evil. Lawful evil. Got it. I am evil, but lawful. <laughs> All right. So we have a bard, a ranger, and a monk so far. I can cast Dig. <laughs> Andy is bad at games. Hopefully not bad at this game, because you are in Icewind Dale. Yay! <laughs> Berserker, hell yeah. I like it. Berserker. I, I think fighters can be any race, so... Gnome? <laughs> hell yeah. And what, uh, what alignment do you want to be? Oh, and what name do you want... Uh, both Andy and Kala. Chaotic neutral. I love it. 
tiny rage. All right, we're, we're, we got party going right now. All right, next up is King Frogman the first. You are in the party. What would you like to be? Uh, Jorts? Is Jorts the name? <laughs> Get rolled, you want Halfling Fighter Rogue. Okay. Awesome. I love it. Elven Fighter Mage Multiclass, neutral good. Okay, how does that work? <laughs> you just select the multiclass. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, elf Fighter Mage Multiclass. Neutral good. All non-human class races can multi-class. Humans can dual class. That's done when leveling up. Okay, gotcha. Ah, I see. In both classes at the same time, but have to split the experience evenly between the two. Okay, I see. Um, and what would you like your name to be? Oh, I, I keep meaning to ask for gender as well. So, originally, I said that I was going to be the sixth party member as Eltriok. But, I think I'm going to roll and someone in chat can be the sixth party member. As I would like to give someone the opportunity. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting my my <laughs> my life in your hands. Dog is a human male. Okay, gotcha. It is my party, but I'll be I'll be controlling them. So, you know, I'll be above them all. Watching over them, guiding them with a a firm but uh uh gentle hand. Firm and gentle at the same time. All right, the last person in the party is Skeleton Witch. Oh, omnipresent authority figure. <laughs> ho ho. Yeah, yeah, I'll be the god that guides the party. I'll be your, uh, uh, what should I call it? <laughs> Your overseer in the the RTS, female half orc shaman. Hell yeah! I'll be your patron, your Patreon. Awesome! All right, we've got a party. Thank you all for uh for entering. Very much appreciated. Um, I, I assume Kala probably went to bed because it's very late for him. Well, very early for him now, but, uh, I'm just going to name him Kala Marici. <laughs> oh, you're still here. Okay. Did you have like a specific name you wanted? Also, I assumed you want to be a boy in the game. Don't you make, make up your mind now? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Oh, Anonymous. Thank you for gifting a sub to Skeleton Witch. Very much appreciated. All right. You want to be named Megatron? <laughs> okay. Thank you. I guess. It's your character, buddy. <laughs> All 
All right, let's find a good uh, ranger looking folk. Oh my gosh, Anonymous, thank you for gifting subs out to all the party members. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, these are all dwarfy. Um, eh, this guy is all right. Don't know about a name though. That's okay. You got you got some time to think about it. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. Kind of more thief vibes than ranger, but pretty neat. Oh yeah, I like I like this guy. He's quite rangery. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. This guy's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they give you a lot of portraits. Okay, I think we're going to go with uh, the one I saw before. This guy. Yeah. All right, human ranger. Yeah, they have a lot of good portraits in this. I assumed you want to be base ranger. So I'm gonna go with that. Uh, would you say neutral good? Uh, let's see, rangers. I assume care most about like strength decks. None of these are like. Pointed at is explicitly like good for rangers, it seems. Let's try to get above 80. There we go, 82. Um, let's see, they get druid magic, which I think is. Oh, maybe that goes off of charisma, because it says it's important to druids. Oh, you don't actually see my cursor in this, do you? Hang on. Myrtle, I like it. Uh, let me see if I can. Wisdom for divine magic. Uh, yeah, because it says druids, uh, charisma is important stat for them, but not for wisdom. So I think maybe they separate out divine versus druidic magic. The charisma thing is misleading in this game. Oh, I see. No need wisdom, just dex. <laughs> hey, Kotatsu. Yeah, unfortunately, the raffle has ended. All right, I'm going to bump you up to 18 dex then. And we'll do 16 con, 16 wisdom. I think that's probably good. You get a special bonus if you get strength to 18 as a warrior class. Oh, okay. Stab and arrow things. <laughs> I just want high strength. Okay. Uh. Ah. Uh, yeah. What does the the slash seventy mean? I never remember. Alrighty, sounds good, Skeleton Witch. Okay, so 18 Strength, 16 Dex and Con, and Wisdom. And 8 Intelligence and Charisma. I think that's pretty good. Seventy percent, which makes you smash shit better. Okay. <laughs> Multiple stats in between for bonuses. Okay, gotcha. Huh. Interesting. Um, you get four points. I think you start with two points and two weapon style. Uh, let's give you bow. Which I think you can you can go up to two points in a weapon. Um, is there a particular melee weapon you want? Can you? I assume you can two hand. Uh, or two weapon long swords. 
a 19 strength character has huge bonuses compared to 18. Okay, I see. Short and bastard sword. Okay. I like it. Uh, oh yeah, you get a racial enemy. Do any of these appeal to you? <laughs> I have no idea which of these we're actually going to run into in uh, in this game. I assume all of them are here somewhere. Cadaverous undead. Orcs, gotcha. Giants, goblins, lizard men, orcs, salamanders. Skeletal undead, spectral undead. Well, they really don't want you to like only have undead, huh? Alright, do you have a favorite color? That you'd like your clothes to be. Green. Okay. Terminator body. <laughs> uh, I don't want, like, a black or something. Yeah, I think that looks good. Oh, boy. Uh... Uh huh. Wash me beard in your blood. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, okay. Metal Fighter Three doesn't talk. He just makes noises, I guess. Attack! Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. I, I love this one. I think you're male fighter five, dog in a cup. I suppose it was only a matter of time before this happened. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, name Dog. Alright. Got a delicious smile, we got dog. Oh, I forgot to edit his biography. Oh well. That's fine. Oh, I think we're gonna know that dog is dog in a cup. All right, next up, Calamarici is a human lawful evil monk named Megatron. <laughs> Smile. Juan Juan. Um, there was actually this guy looks pretty cool. He looks pretty monk like. Yes, that's you? Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, monk. Um. I don't know if you wanted to be a dark moon monk. Or if you just want to be a general monk. Or if you don't care. I feel like General Monk is maybe better. At a glance, at least. But, uh... Yeah, up to you, since you want to be lawful evil. General Monk, okay. Lawful evil. All right, what do monks want? Just strength? Anyone? We can, we can do better than 81, I feel. Unless the game says no. <laughs> 83, there we go. All right, uh, I think you have way less wisdom. Uh, they rely on a lot of stats, okay. Let the dog sleep. His bite is definitely worse than his his bite. <laughs> I see. I'm gonna guess they probably want wisdom. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Strength for damage, wisdom, and dex for defense, con for... Okay, gotcha. So everything but intelligence and charisma.
<laughs> uh, maybe we do that. Although I feel like having 17 constitution is probably not the plan. Maybe that. Strength and con at 18, wisdom at 16, dex at 15, intelligence charisma at 8. Actually, let's do 16 dex, 15 whiz. There we go. Uh, what to... Do they need an empty hand? I assume they they need an empty hand to do unarmed attacks. So we'll pr we probably want single weapon style, I'm guessing. Uh, any of these weapons call out to you? Uh, I it, It's probably going to be hard to find katanas or scimitars. They're going to be unarmed. Okay, so none of this really matters. Uh, I'll give you a point in sling so that you have a ranged attack just in case, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then do you have a favorite color, Kala? You're you're evil, so maybe I put you like in like dark purple or something. Whatever works for you. Okay. That's a that's a nice color. Um Yeah, okay. I think it works. All right, let's find you a good evil voice. To the pain. To the pain. The learned should lead. Oh boy. your back why yes i can handle this it is a shame that we must resort to violence come then the silent blade cuts best oh my god i think this might be kala ah, i should get some good scouting done up here find a secluded place to camp the shadows call to me yeah yeah i think this is this is kala um do you just want to be kala marichi or is there another name that you wanted? I think you might be set. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oops, I keep clicking out of the window. Oh right, Megatron. Sorry, I, I totally forgot. <laughs> Somehow I forgot about Megatron. Monkatron. <laughs> I did. I erased it from my memory. I even wrote it down, and I still erased it from my memory. All right, Andy. Uh, gnome berserker named Jorts. All right, let's find you a good gnome. This <laughs> I kind of I love this guy. That one, okay. Perfect. Uh, gnome. Gnomes have lively and sly senses of humor, especially for practical jokes. Jorts. <laughs> uh, fighter. Berserker. Jorts looking at Mefer. <laughs> uh, yeah, Berserker. You are chaotic neutral. Alright, we need a lot of strength for Jorts. Get a high roll. I've decided that 82 is the baseline. No lower. Uh, oh, no! I re-rolled the 83. Fuck. 
I'm clicking too fast. There we go. I got it back. All right. I uh, don't think Jorts needs intelligence or charisma. <laughs> but he does need strength. Gosh darn it. George is dumb as a brick. <laughs> I did roll superhuman intelligence. Uh, you know what? We'll give you... It's literally impossible for a human to be that smart. Well... <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're a gnome, so you can have maximum 19 in intelligence. But you're also Jorts, so your intelligence is going to be 9. Actually, let's give you 9 charisma. Yeah, let's give you 9 wisdom. There you go. 18 strength, 18 dex, 18 con, 13 wisdom. Like the gods intended. Um, do you have a, a care about weapons? Still smarter than the average berserker, very true. I'm thinking, can gnomes even wield two-handed weapons <laughs> in this? Because I was thinking, like, it might be good for, like, yeah, two-handed. Okay, that's what I was thinking, too. But you can train in it, so I assume you, you should be able to. Okay. I'm thinking like Warhammer. Actually, I'm not sure which one is which one of these is the two-handed option. Okay, gotcha. Uh Axe? Okay. Great Axe is two-handed. Um, Doesn't look like there's a Great Axe option, so maybe it, that just falls under regular Axe. <laughs> yeah, an Axe bigger than your body. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, this just says throwing axes and battle axes. Okay. Appearance. Oh, look at you. You look so angry. I love it. <laughs> They're in like a more metallic red. Yeah, it's a little, little light. I feel like George. Oh, that's a good one. George is, has closed the color of blood. Black trim, always always nice, always stylish. Uh, let's give you... Oh, I do like the purple hair. Okay. <laughs> Just, you know, a little flair. Alright, what does Jorts sound like? Steal yourselves. I'll wash my beard in your blood. I think he needs a super deep voice. Yes, I think he's Male Fighter 2. Is Male Fighter 3 the one that does, doesn't talk? Huh? Oh, that one is good, too. I think he's got the super deep voice, though. Wash me beard in your blood. Yeah, that's Jorts. <laughs> that's Jorts right there. Alright. I should probably, I guess it doesn't really matter if I unify the language for how I'm doing these. May he live forever. May we all. <laughs> all right. We got, <laughs> we got Delicious Smile, Dog, Megatron, and Jorts. All right. King Frogman the first, you are up next. All right, so you are an elf, fighter, mage, multi-class. Let's find you a good, a good elf to be. This guy looks cool. I wonder if there's something more magical out there. Oh, 
Oh, I like this one too. The old dude with the white bushy beard. Okay. Uh, this one. I like this guy. He's good. Elf. Uh, fighter mage. Big bushy beard. Uh, you said neutral good. Angus characters believe that balance of forces is important, but that the concerns of law and chaos do not moderate the need for good. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Ashley. All right, so what kind of stats are you are you thinking? Oh, 84. Excellent. Um, probably don't need wisdom, I'm guessing. Or charisma. We can bump up your strength up to 18. High strength and int. Okay. Perfect. How's that look? 18 strength and intelligence, 16 dex and con, and an 8 wisdom and charisma. Seems pretty good. Seems like a good frogman to me. Cool. Uh, skills. Any of these call out to you? So for mages, you can't cast if you're wearing armor, right? So I don't know how that works exactly. <laughs> Two-handed sword. You got it. Oh, right. You get magic, too. Um, so it starts you out with color spray, find familiar. I guess that's it. Oh, yeah. You can choose two spells to put in your spell book. These are the spells your character currently has knowledge of. Specialist wizard spells that belong to their school have a green outline on them. Um, so color spray is like a area of effect stun, right? Shield and grease. Okay. You got it. Oh, and you start with one memorized, okay. Give you shield for now. All right. I do like the blue, although Frogman makes me think more green. Oh, the green and blue actually looks kind of nice. I kind of like that. Uh, give you white hair to match your portrait. Yeah, I think that looks good. You look, uh, Simic, like, if you know magic. <laughs> the Gathering. <laughs> Alright, that is a good... To the pain. Ha ha! Watch your back! It is a shame that we must resort to violence. I like Male Mage 4. That one sounds pretty good. I don't mean to interrupt, but perhaps we should rest. <laughs> I think I like Ma Male Mage 4. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I don't think this is a good use of our time. <laughs> Alright, I like it. Yeah, good voice for an elf with a bushy beard. Alright, biography. Character by... King Frogman the first. All right, last but certainly not least, Skeleton Witch. Uh, so you're going to be a half work. Okay, let's find you a good half work. There's one here. Um, oh, she looks cool. She 
looks kind of half orc ish, I think. The big buff one standing, okay. Uh... This one? Half orc. No, not this one, okay. Um, oh, this one? Okay, cool. Half orc. Shaman. Cool, this should be interesting. I have no experience with shamans. Uh... Oh yeah, what uh, what alignment do you want? You could be neutral good, true neutral, or neutral evil. Anything neutral, really. Neutral good, okay. Uh, what do shaman want? I'm guessing wisdom. Whoa, you have 19 constitution? Dang. 83, perfect. Going to 19 con also gives you something special. Oh, okay. Wisdom and con, okay. All right. Uh, let's give you 16 decks for better, uh, saving throws and such. All right, 19 con, 18 wisdom, 16 decks. Look good? I think this is, looks good to me. All right, uh... Assuming you want to be more on the back line as a shaman, should pull the 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 uh my thing back up. So wear up to hide armor. Cannot wield shields larger than bucklers. Only use a limited selection of weapons. It's druid spells uh, and shaman specific spells. Uh, shamanic dance. Okay. So maybe we'll give you like short bow and our spears one handed or two handed. Probably two handed, I'm guessing. Maybe axes, axes and short bows. Free scroll level one. All right, get two spells. You wanted axe? Okay, cool. Uh, I can give you cure light wounds because <laughs> we don't have a healer in the group. I feel like entangles pretty good. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, let's give you an entangle as well. Yeah, it should be an interesting party. Hopefully we uh, <laughs> can, can pull through. Um... I like this color. Yeah, kind of a shiny purple. I think it looks good.
Yeah, and then I can give you uh, more red hair. Match the portrait. And they don't really have red. I guess that's kind of close. Eh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, bards might only have uh, pickpocket as their thief skills. Oh, actually, this looks pretty, pretty red. Okay, it's gonna be fairly zoomed out anyway, so it's fine. You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Queen for a day, is it? Your time draws near. I will do my best to keep us out of harm's way. Let's spill some blood. Watch my back. Yeah, just tank the traps. <laughs> Against twin axes. I'll be taking it from here. Attack. I shall lead the way. Hmm. My aim shall be true. If you wish for my leadership, I shall give it. <laughs> Send Jortson first. Shield can take you far. Onward to victory. It is an honor to lead. I'm exhausted. Oh, how long shall we stand idle? Our task is clear. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had a. That was what I was thinking, is maybe the wizard can uh, Let me at him. shore that up a bit. Very well. I'll lead. I shall slay you all. I will endeavor to be a wise leader. By Gerdal's shield. I should lead. My divine right. Prepare to be destroyed. Die. Oh, it's priests. Okay. Well, as long as some spellcaster can do it. Um... Okay, I think I like female fighter five. To victory! It is an honor to lead. I'm exhausted. Oh, how long shall we stand idle? Yeah. I think clear. that's good. Sounds like a myrtle to me. Alright. Character by Skeleton Witch. There we go. IDK. Oh, is there a, a voice you liked better? Kind of hard to to tell. Oh, oh, I see. You're talking about the spells. <laughs> All right. All right. Here is our party. Delicious smile. The bard. Dog. The ranger. Megatron. <laughs> the monk. Jorts. The berserker. The frogman. The fighter mage. And Myrtle. The Shaman. I guess we're ready to start. Weird feeling. We're here. It only took an hour and a half. <laughs> Our tale begins here. Gods be with the us. Fishing village of East Haven, one of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale. Work it. The tiny community is hard. <laughs> Thank to you for the stretch. But rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit cavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. Oh. And thank you for the hydrate. Actually, I need to get some water, so... Oh, look at him. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But Rothgar. now here, <laughs> traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Rothgar? What, like, Catmen in Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> Greetings, Rothgar. My name is Delicious Smile. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you do well to be on your best behavior. Yeah, hear that, Megatron? <laughs> be on your best behavior. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. 
I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. Excellent. Uh, and if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. All right. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. <laughs> some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Ah, well. Today, our party arrived in the snowy lakefront community known as East Haven. Weary and half frozen from the road, we hastily made our way into the local tavern to find a hot meal and some friendly conversation. Scarcely had we seated ourselves at a table by the hearth when we were approached by a burly warrior who called himself Hrothgar. He seemed friendly enough, but something in his eyes warned us that he wasn't one to cross. He politely asked us to come see him at his home, a couple doors west of the tavern, to discuss business of some sort. Right. Uh... How do I close this? There we go. <laughs> when do we seduce a dragon? Probably not for a few levels, I'm guessing. I'll do what I can. All right, we should probably rearrange our party a little bit. Put Jorts in front. I'll be doing the lead now. <laughs> you sure will, buddy. All right, Jorts and Frogman to the front. Uh, push a smile. And Myrtle in the back, and then the middle can be Megatron and Dog. I like it. I write it. Although, when it comes to talking to people, Delicious Smile should probably be the one to do it. Done. Oh, yeah, yep, go all the way around the bar to talk to them. <laughs> Hello there, Dairy. Welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you? I got some questions. Sorry, dearie, I haven't the time to chit chat with you. I have a tavern to run, you know. If you're looking to catch up on the local gossip, I suggest you buy a round or mingle with some of the other patrons. Uh, do I have money? Oh yeah, I forgot to. Uh, I was gonna turn on uh, capture cursor. There we go. Um. Inventory? 610 gold. Oh my god. We're we're rolling in it. <laughs> I'm not gonna punch the bartender. Alright, how about a drink? Of course, dearie. After all, this is a tavern. Plenty to drink here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, indeed. Yes, well, you see, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. I've just run out of everything. I have nothing to offer you in the way of drink at this moment. What? You've run out of everything? What kind of tavern are you running here? No spirits, that's it, I'm gone. Well, the tavern hasn't run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... Uh, what? This is rather embarrassing, but I'm having somewhat of a pest problem down in that dirty old cellar, and I'm afraid to go down there. I do so hate bugs. Just the thought of those nasty creepies and crawlies sends shivers down my spine. Um... Great, a tavern with no booze and bugs to boot. I can't wait to see the rest of this town. Um, is there anything I can do to help? This smells like a quest to me. That's awfully sweet of you, dearie, but I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something. Uh, have no fear, madam. I shall see to it that the pests down below trouble you no further. Wonderful. The stairs of the cellar are in the back room. Now you be careful down there, dearie, and don't let any of those little buggers creep back up here, all right? We don't have a, I was gonna ask if we start with anything. Nope. There you go. <laughs> Delicious Smile has a staff. Everyone has a staff. Now let's go buy some freaking equipment, first of all. Before we do anything about bugs in the cellar. Ready. Not a problem. Alright, let's go say hi to Pomab. 
Good way to scroll the map. Okay, I guess just the arrow keys. So I can't even figure out how to wield the staff. Yeah, seriously. All right, everyone, crowd in. What is this? More barbarians come to my shop? No doubt with nothing to barter with, but more wolf pelts and polished stones. Very well. Let's get let's get this over with. What do you want? Um Barbarians, I think you're mistaken, friend. I'd watch where you wag that tongue of your shopkeeper. All the snow has put me in the best of moods. Uh um, we'll take a more neutral slant. Am I now? I do not think so. All of you northerners are the same to me. Smelly and barbaric. Northerners. I take it you're not from around here. Humph, I am Pomad Azm as as here, Royal Diplomatic Envoy of Kalmshan and appointed overseer of the Northern Caravan Routes. Sure, and I am the king of Mithril Hall, ha. Huh. Your poor attempt at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. All of you know that I'm third cousin to the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in good standing. Uh, if you're in such good standing in Kalimshan, what in the nine hells are you doing all the way up here in Icewind Dale? The Pasha, uh, asked me to accept this post of Overseer of the Northern Caravan Routes as a personal favor. I see. Likely this post is not by a convenient excuse for the Pasha to get rid of a royal pain in his ass. <laughs> oh, you mean you were banished? I do not expect someone of your station to understand such matters. Now, if you do not mind, buy something or leave. All right, fine. Dog wonders how he got into this eccentric company. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, every every party needs, uh, you know, the straight man, right? The guy who's just kind of, <laughs> he's like, I'm a ranger. I'm not crazy. I just, this is what I do. All right, so we have 600 gold between us. Uh, can probably sell our staves. Wow, one gold. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Let's try to get appropriate to uh, get the PS5. <laughs> I'm just imagining one of those. Oh, here we go. Two handed axe. Okay. Yeah, proficiency type is axe. Perfect. I'm not crazy. I'm just a little bit dog. <laughs> Uh, let's get you some armor, buddy. Oh, look at this helmet. I guess they're all kind of the same. I should probably buy the cheapest helmet, but damn, that's a cool helmet. Uh, I feel like I should get the best armor for, for jorts. AC4, AC5. So AC is better the lower it is in this game. Um, it's an eight gold difference, that's not too much. We're probably gonna spend the most on the fighters, because they can wear the best stuff, and they're gonna be in the front lines. Uh, you're gonna use a two-handed ax, so, wow, he's selling katanas for 750 gold, my god. Um. I feel like I should get you some sort of ranged weapon just in case. Maybe a sling or something. It's Thacko. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> you know it's Thacko. Ooh, scroll case, potion bag, gem bag, bottle of wine. Even the North has waves. <laughs> uh slings don't do that much damage, I believe. They don't actually have the damage on here, do they? So maybe like a bow for uh, old jorts here. Just something, you know, just in case. There you go. All right, the frogman uh, wants a two-handed sword. I guess uh, I'll buy armor. 
I'm I'm still not sure how that's gonna work with like spell casting, but Maybe the idea is cast shield and then put on armor and then wade into the fray. Um, I'm going to get you a sling because the two-handed sword is pretty expensive. Okay, what... Uh... Megatron doesn't need anything. Megatron does not wear armor and does not use weapons. So I guess just a sling for Megatron. Oops. I love that they give Megatron a quarter staff, even though he can't use it. <laughs> dog, what what did I give you, dog? Uh, all right, bastard sword, short sword, longbow. Okay. Short sword. We'll just do regular longbow for now because we're getting a little low on money. And probably some armor. Be good. Uh, we can do the hide armor. Okay, delicious smile. Long sword, long bow. Might be a little expensive, but. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. Elven chainmail will let a fire mage cast while wearing it. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Get you a short bow for now. I, I may have. Not spent uh, very well. That's fine. And then Myrtle. Axes and short bows. Okay. Oh, I should give the short bow to Myrtle then. I think Delicious Smile will get the um, sling for right now. That leaves me five gold to my name. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, let's sell the quarter staves. I doubled my cash, yeah. One weird trick to double your cash, as long as you have uh, five gold. <laughs> and want it to be ten gold. All right. Let's get... Oh, that's where your quarter staff went. Right. Good noises. <laughs> Very good noises. Oh. Music all of a sudden. <laughs> Clank, clank, clank. And jorts. Oh. 
<laughs> Fuck yes. Oh my god, George, you're so powerful. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god, Jorts, you're going to go places, my friend. Love this for him. Second weapon, the offhand. Oh, was there a certain, like, offhand slot? Uh, oh. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, god. We're so powerful already. I love it. Uh, take this quarterstaff off my hands, please. Alright, we're ready for adventure. I'm here. Easy as goblin pie. Easy as goblin pie. Um... Oh, this is not my journal. There we go. Stab, stab, stab. All right. Uh, first things first. Let's let's go ahead and save. <laughs> hey, Lumina, how you doing? All right, we got a cellar to clear out. Time to test our metal across against some uh, bugs, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Right off the bat, we got some some nasty things to deal with. Beetles. Hmm? All right, we're going to two arms, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that's the voice I gave him. Oh boy. Oh, I no, you want you want to be unarmed. I'm here. Ready for action. All right. Die. Jump into into battle. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. George just exploded that bug. Damn. All right. Good job everyone. Uh I think this game is going to be perfectly easy. All right, your uh, cellar's clear. You're gonna have to clean up all the bug corpses, but uh, should be fine, right? Just done. Those bugs won't be troubling you anymore. Thank you, Derry. You're a lifesaver. Just do me one more favor. Keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking Griselda's place isn't clean. Run along now. Okay, we got 1,200 experience for our, our trouble, so I think that's probably worth it, even if we didn't get paid. Oh, we got five gold. <gasps> We've doubled our gold again. All right, let's go talk to uh, uh, Hrothgar. What are you all doing here? Oh, there's a squirrel, okay. I think he said he was two doors to. Ooh, what a nice little zoom in and zoom out. Zoom out. Watch me go. What? Done. All right, Rothgar. Well met, friend. And welcome to my home. Make yourself as comfortable, but try not to break anything. <laughs> Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have sentimental value. Yeah, you hear that, Jorts? Put that gigantic axe away. Where'd you get all this stuff? Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers from my days of fortune and glory. Uh, an adventuring day, so you're retired then. Uh, Semi-retired, actually. This region is still untamed and fraught with many dangers. 
I have had plenty of opportunities in the last few years to take up my sword and shield and do battle with those who threaten the safety of East Haven and its neighbors. In fact, I am planning such an expedition right now. That is what I wanted to speak to you about. An expedition? What sort of expedition? We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby <gasps> in the spine of the World Mountain. Evil forces? I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? <laughs> what sort of evil forces are we talking about? I don't really know. The messenger wasn't too specific. I suppose if you want more details, you could ask old Everard over at the temple. But time's a-wasting. Oh, just a general kind of evil, I guess. We need to get this expedition moving before the snows seal off the pass to Kaldahar. So what's it going to be? Are you in or out? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Farewell. Yeah, it sounds exciting. Count us in. Excellent. That's Not the whole reason we're all. playing the video I game, I guess. The rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you mm -hmm. can help. Poma, the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Care Dineville is long overdue, and that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Now, normally, I take Pomop's whining with a grain of salt. Don't we all? With heavy snows on the way, it would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. All right. I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershire, between East Haven and Caer Dineville. Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. All right. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Kaldahar Pass while the weather is favorable. Good luck. Safe journey. Okay. Uh, Hrothgar... Oh. Asked us to find a missing caravan out of Care Dineval. The caravan was carrying valuable supplies intended for East Haven. Rothgar suggested we take the South Bridge out of town and search for the caravan in the hills along the shores of Lake Dinashire. Dinashire? We are to return to East Haven and to Hrothgar either with the caravan or with news of its mysterious fate. Oh, okay. Got it! Can do. A caravan hunting, we shall go. Is there a... Aha. Not a problem. Okay. So we have our first quest. We're to find a caravan and guide it back to East Haven. And probably murder some things along the way. It is a video game after all. Hey, here's the South Bridge. Monsters? Quick, we've got to get, go get Hrothgar. There are monsters in town. They almost ate me. Whoa, slow down there. What are you talking about? Monsters, a whole bunch of them. They came down to the shore while I was fishing. I dropped everything and ran when I saw them, but they didn't chase me. I thought they were going to eat me, but I guess they are just after my fish. Um... You know what happens to the little boys who cry orc. <laughs> Let's fuck him up. All right, have a good night, Adam. Thanks for hanging out. Sleep well. Just over the bridge down by the lake, my da told me not to fish so up far out by myself, but I can't help it. That's where I catch the big ones. He's going to kill me when he finds out I've lost today's catch, all because of those stupid monsters. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> if we find out you're lying to us, we'll send you the bomb of the lake. Uh, don't worry, we'll deal with these thieving monsters and get you your fish back. Alright, we ran to a boy named Damien. Near the bridge leading out of East Haven, he told us that a group of monsters had invaded his fishing hole and were eating the fish he had caught. Can't believe this. Hmm? Not a problem. <laughs> okay, before I get too invested here, I'm gonna go uh, get some water, so I'll be right back. I guess I should pause the game just just in case.
Alright, I have returned. Let us do this thing. Oh! Monsters! Goblins! Goblins are attacking jorts. Um, what's that? Oh, that's the song. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the shaman dance. What is it? Die, monster! Time to kill. Ready? Is that all? Yes. All right, jorts. Frogman. Megatron will. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Go this way. Oh yeah. I'm here. Oh god. Everyone going. Okay. <laughs> I will assist you in any way possible. Hmm? I'm here. Sing a bard song. You need me? Understood. I'm ready to do it. Okay. Ow! Yes. By and, yeah. Oops. Ready for action. I. I spit a Oh my god, that's a lot of goblins. May I help? Ready. What is required? I suppose I got some time to kill. Yes. Onward to victory! Oh, nice. I'm here. This time, looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. All right, got him. Our first real battle uh, went off pretty well. What should we go? What do we get? Got a fish skeleton, knucklehead trout, 12 gold, oh my god, is that a long bow? No, it's a short bow. Hell yeah. Oh, and an axe, perfect. Oh, actually, many axes. Damn, Jorts can carry 220 pounds? That's like as much as he weighs. That's probably way less than him, or way more than he weighs, actually. All right, are there any like actual fish to get Hi. from this? I'm guessing not, but it seems like maybe they ate all the fish. Oh yeah, there's this guy we killed too. I always forget, like, first level D&D, &D, <laughs> your health health totals are not very high. What? Yes. Uh, here's your fish, at least what's left of it. Thanks, I'd best be uh, getting home now. My dad's probably worrying about me. Farewell. One goblin critical away from the next plane over. <laughs> uh, we're able to help Damien out. We gave him some fish to take to his father, so he wouldn't get in trouble. Wow, we're so we're so nice. We got like okay, we did get experience from that. Not much, but we did get some. Oh, I thought this is where we left. Oh, I guess we have to go this way. Uh, let's divvy out some of this gear. This is just battle axe. Okay, so Myrtle wants one of these. Give the short bow to Delicious Smile. High quality Morning Star. Ooh. Oh, but you don't have any arrows. I 
think everyone else is, I guess, um, Delicious Smile needs a melee weapon. Not that. You can have an axe too, why not? I guess I should probably go buy some arrows. Actually, we already used quite a few. I should probably buy enough arrows to fill all the ammo slots, huh? Whoa, what is that? Yeah, and we can sell all this excess gear that we got. Kind of shore up what we need. Maybe. Oh. Uh <laughs> there we go. We made it inside eventually. I will do as you wish. It is high quality, so that's extra money. Oh, I can, uh, I can select multiples. All right, that brings us back up to 61. Um, let's get some hide armor for Myrtle. What can you use? I guess just, uh, oh wait, no. Started leather is the best, whoops. Well, for now, we just studded as well. Um, and ammo. I forgot what I got for you. Just a sling, frog man. All right, we've lost all our, our money again. <laughs> oh, a stack is 80, okay. Hey, Aerie, how you doing? Ah, your wizard spells have been disabled. Okay, that's fine, because I don't think she has any wizard spells yet. Uh, it's going well so far. We have our, our party together. fine, I think. As long as all the slots are filled. I thought maybe right-clicking them would make it stack automatically, but no. <laughs> Not the case. Alright. I think we're all good. Is that all? Not a problem. All right, our adventure can begin in earnest. Killed some goblins, we killed some beetles. Obviously, uh, nothing stands in our way now. Uh, 
Uh, someone should probably go clean up these corpses eventually. Oh, I missed a, an axe. Okay. Does this have, if you like, hold down alt, it'll show you everything on the ground? Okay, we're here. <laughs> oh. Uh, wolves? Wolves, okay. Easy as goblin pie. Um. Yeah, I don't think we need to uh, berserk quite yet. <laughs> what? You need me? I kind of want to try spirit dancing. What does, this, what does that look like? Ready. I guess it, it doesn't matter because we're going to kill these wolves real quick. Hey. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> well... Myrtle got some, some spirits, and then they immediately vanished. Whoa. What are you? An orc? Oh my god, you're fucking dead. <laughs> that orc got demolished. Oh, thank you for the hydrant stretch, Seeker. Good idea. Oh, is it, are these the the caravan wagons? Dog sworn enemy. These wooden caravan wagons lie empty and abandoned in the snow. Surely this is not them. There is only one orc here. Oh, but there's oh I see. There's a cave we can go in here. Aha, more orcs. Hmm? Yes. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. <laughs> I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. God. Megatron and Dog's voices are both very good. Yes. This time, actions must speak louder than words. I am your man. I. Yeah. Nice. Ready. Is that all? Okay, no, alt does not highlight if you can pick up things. Maybe there's another button that does that. Yep, come to me. Oh my god, we're killing machines. I think these uh, battle axes sold for like one gold, so I maybe don't need to pick up every single one. But it's fine, it's fine. Do I have anyone that can hide? I suppose I got some time to kill. Oh, you can hide. Aye. Har, you can kind of sneak ahead. Uh, except this is a, a dead end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a good line. Perfect. Lead them back to us. I'm here. Oh no! I know the routine. Show me a target, and I'll smash it. Easy as goblin pie. The Sh silent blade cuts back. Must <laughs> to be destroyed. Must it is a shame that we must resort to violence. <laughs> Nobody has a katana to side unsheathed yet. Yeah, sadly not. Okay, 
so dog can oh work elite oh um what what do you need now oh okay don't do that actually oh that's a lot um what is it <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Ready for action. Har har har. <laughs> I, I don't know why they say you know that. Do adventuring and stuff. Work shaman. What is required? I'm here. Oh, whoops. Done. You need me? Uh, I need you to heal. Oh, man. I don't Prepare to be destroyed. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it will be done. God, how much more I can last? Uh oh. Ready for action. I suppose I got some time to kill. Vita Mortis. Oh no! Uh, is Megatron dead? <laughs> or is he just... Oh, he disappeared. Oh my god, did he... Did he, um... <laughs> become ashes? <laughs> Buddy? Good night, sweet prince. Man, he, he went down quick. Uh, can you heal his ashes? <laughs> she, she considered it, at least. Alright, well that that's probably a reload. A Megatron! Ah! <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, hello. There's more. Oh my god. Yes, avenge him, Jorts. Wow, that was that was a bigger group than of dudes than I expected. What did we go? Should be able to revive him back in town. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's good. Um let's save in a new slot then. Just to confirm that, and then if we can't, we can reload. Only cost gold, okay. Oh, pull up. I best serve. Gladly. I'm right there. Yes, I can do it. Yeah, that was that he got one shot. <laughs> Very unfortunate. These are wooden supply crates, no doubt offloaded from the wagons outside. The crates appear to be intact and unopened. Always reloaded. But well, we'll see. It might cost a lot, and if it does, I'll probably just reload. Put him in a bag. <laughs> yeah, stuff the ashes in a bag. Alright, withdraw. Ready. Easy as goblin pie. I don't even know if there is a temple in the town. There's an inn. <laughs> oh no, they said they said there's a temple. Is that all? I certainly don't want to spend all my hard earned gold on Rezzing Megatron, so probably will just reload. Good to know there's a gigantic group of orcs and casters and stuff over there, though. Alright, anyone know where the temple is? Temple? It's a house. I don't think that's a temple.
I love this epic music while you pass by some kids wanting to poke a squirrel with a stick. <laughs> it does exist. Oh, okay. Oh, this looks temple y. You fiddle bender? I've heard of you. You live in that wrecked airship in Kuldahar, don't you? No? No, I don't. Who's Fiddlebender? Huh. Well, I heard he was a gnome who took up shop in Kuldahar, the town south of here. You sure you haven't heard of him? I thought two of you might be related. Oh, because Joris is a gnome. I see. Damn. Yeah, we're all related because we're gnomes. Our kind really doesn't interbreed as much as you humans do. <laughs> Jesus. It's like a ship that floats on the air, lying wrecked right in the middle of Kuldahar. I don't know if Fiddle better crash it there or not, but it must be something else. Sure would like to see it. <laughs> aggressive. I mean, Jorts is quite aggressive, I'd say. East Haven, lived here for quite a span I have. Things have been getting worse of late, though. Uh, you know what? You're not related to the church, so I'm gonna leave. Whoa. Zoom in on this. Oh. This glyph warded door set into the floor appears to lead down into a chamber beneath the temple. There is doesn't appear to be a way to open it. Cool statue. Oh, that's not even the full thing. Whoa. There's a dude riding those horses. Hmm. Rothgar mentioned there were strangers in town. Oh. What is it you want? I am Jorts. Are you the high priest of this temple? Yes, I am Everard. Everard of Tempest. Oh, Tempest. Of the Lord of Battles. What brings you here? Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't really want to donate, but thanks. Healing. Uh. Raise dead is a hundred gold. I don't even think I can. Oh, I can. Spell will not work on elves. Okay, so it's 100 gold to raise dead. I guess it's not terrible. Maybe not the best use of my money this early on. But good to know that this is here. Oh, he'll bless us too. Oh, huh, that's pretty nice. Oh, plus one to hit and saving throws. That's all. Yeah. Slow poison, dispel magic, remove curse, cure disease, remove paralysis. Serious wounds, neutralize poison. Huh. Why do I want slow poison? Anyway, okay. Let's reload. The current game will be lost. Alright, time to... Kill more orcs, I guess. Again. Oh yeah, there's this thing. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh yeah, there's wolves too. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ready for action. Oh. Ready. There we go. I wonder if there's a way to recruit more party members instead. Could be amusing to keep rotating in chat members when someone dies, but what probably not practical. <laughs> that would be really funny, though. Oh, you can detect traps? Wait, can everyone? I suppose I got some time to go. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. Huh. How may I best serve? I'm here. Interesting. There must be a way to set that. Okay, well, I was gonna. You need me? Gotta heal some wounds. Vita, 
I love the spell casting in uh, Infinity Engine games. They're always so like over the top and ridiculous. you in any way possible. I am your man. What do you need now? What is it? Yes. May I help? Ready. I'll wash me beard in your blood. I'm here. Nice. You have to delete members from your group before adding new ones, so you'd have to export the characters constantly. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then, like, if we're, like, mid-game or something, they probably come in at level 1. So that wouldn't be very, uh, expedient. I guess I could do, like, a cheat engine or something to level them up. Oh, jeez. Ready. I... I'm here. Prepare to be destroyed. That's too sad. <laughs> Dang, Jorts, you're taking hits this time. How may I be more How's the party going? Um, Megatron died, so I had to reload. But otherwise, it's going well. <laughs> you know, besides that. All right, let us save. Oh, I went too far in. So that's okay. Oh. Yeah, pretty good so far. Yes. Um, how long does shield last? Five rounds per level. Okay. Oh, this just sets your armor class to four. Okay. So it'd be equivalent to wearing a splint mill, anyways. I see. Can you cast it while wearing a helmet? Oh, you can. The thing I'd do when I was a kid was start with one character, do some quests around town so I could, I could go without risking death. That I could do without risking death, so I gain a few levels quickly, export them, and import them into the final party I wanted to start the game with. Oh, okay. 30 seconds. Gotcha. I will assist you in any way possible. I right then. Gonna back off and come to me a little bit. Oh, they're coming to me, all right. <laughs> Ready. So many jobs. So what is required? Time. I'm here. I have not tried Greece yet. Ready to do adventuring? Oh my God. Delicious smile died immediately. Yeah. I suppose I got some time to kill. I know the Delicious frown. Ready to do adventuring and stuff. All right, after the first like salvo, 
Um, it it's not too bad, but <laughs> yeah, two people dying is not good. Uh, we were kind of muddled in the the uh, what's it called? Our formation, so that's probably didn't help. Ready for action. I right there. Oh, I got a cool snake. Ready. Wow. Easy as goblin pie. She can't cast all of a sudden? Hmm. Oh, maybe because the. I'll see what I can do. I. What? Now I will show you truth. I. Yeah. Whoa. You need me? Okay, now I can cast. Please heal Megatron. I'm here. Easy as goblin pie. God. Nice. Hey, there we go. That went much better, I think. I, I. I May I help? Although, uh, yeah, shield did not last the whole battle, I don't think. Actually, I think I may have forgot to cast it at all. So, good thing that uh, Frogman didn't get hit or attacked. Ready. Okay, we did it. We survived a fight. Everyone's alive. We'd love to, would love to see it. Actually, I don't think I took a hit. Yeah, save is a good idea. <laughs> the first levels are the hardest. Yeah, that makes sense, considering you'd like drop dead in one hit. Yes, it will be done. Is that all? All right. Box. Oh. Our agate gem. Link side gem. And a scroll of protection from petrification. I'll assist you in any way Gladly. My DD group is doing an Egyptian themed campaign next. I'm going to be playing a Grung Rogue. What is a Grung? Megatron is glass, not a glass cannon, just glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, write, ma write that magic. Small poisonous frog person. Ooh, cool. Based frog enjoyer. Oh my god, some of the voices are just so good. May I help? I don't mind. Ready, not a problem. I suppose I got some time to kill. I got ya. Oh, you failed your hide. Well, Here. Die. 
Oh. Hey, a monkin over here. <laughs> Help me, I bet. Surely. What do you need now? Hide and shadows failed. No one's even like looking around. How? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. You can you can theoretically hide in shadows, dog, but you're not very good at it. Real kung fu hours. I, is that all? Yes. So many jobs. I'm so ready to do adventuring. Time. What is and it? Stuff. Yes. Ready. Oh, man, this is painless as I'm possible. Here. This time, to victory! Nice. I will assist you, of course. Oh, what do you... Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Done. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we back up a little bit. Uh Oh, I used all your spells. Crap. Okay. Hi. May I help? I thought the big fight was over. I suppose I'm free yeah. to do your dirty work. I'm here. What is required? Well, Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Running. I suppose I got some time to kill. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. I don't think I'll be getting out of this. Oh no, Megatron! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. That didn't work out well. Okay, good to know there's a huge group of guys there. Of course. I is that all? Oh, can we just rest? Okay. I Me, mean, that's a good idea. How may I best serve? If you rest the cave, I recommend Greece. Okay. That's a good idea. What's this? Spirit Ward. The spell surrounds the recipient with a magical barrier at a distance of one foot. Spirits, fake creatures, elementals, and spectral undead receive a penalty of negative two to hit. Uh, okay. Interesting. I'm here. Wow, what a pleasant time we're having resting here. <laughs> Okay, we did it. Done. Hmm? Yes. Oh, what do you need me now? Yeah. Yes. Ready for act. Understood. <laughs> Get all greased up for the monsters. Save real quick. Oh my god. Onward. I suppose I got some time to kill. What is required? 
Hmm? Help me out. I this. suppose I'm free to do your to victory! <laughs> Cursed? Oh no. Easy as goblin pie. Yes. Gladly. Your rogue's quirk that might make a group hate him. Uh sure. Ready, not a problem. He says croaker rip after every sentence. Good. Hopefully they wouldn't hate that. That sounds lovely. What does cursed actually do? gonna show anywhere here is it Take oh. no prisoners. You're no longer cursed <laughs> oh that work was explosive. I will assist you in any way. No trouble at all. Ah, I have your map. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm here, right there. Hmm. A chest. I had a group where I played a tabaxi wizard, and he said nyan after every sentence. <laughs> nice. First lower is saving throw and attack rolls. Now you don't want to attack rolls and saves. Okay, gotcha. May I help? Someone here can detect traps. What do you need now? What's this? Oh, guard. Okay. What is it? Oh. Thank you for the hydrate stretch half an hour ago. <laughs> okay. I just remembered I was supposed to do that. You need me? I'm ready to do adventuring what and stuff now. Um, you can detect traps, but I don't see like ah, here we go. Find traps five. Oh, she has to detect illusion. Okay. Yes. Oh, no, she can find traps Understood. as well. I suppose I'm free to do your easily done. Okay. Ooh. A magical ring. A ring is a small band of precious metal that is used as jewelry. He kind of does sound like Squidward. I am your man. Ready for action. Hmm? Not a problem. How may I best serve? So many jobs, yeah. so little time. I'm here. What is required? Prepare to be destroyed! Ready. For what, I guess. A squid monk yeah. would be terrifying. Goblin pie. That's one of my favorite uh, dungeon crawl stone soup. Uh, races is you can be an octopus and you can wield eight weapons. <laughs> I think with major penalties, but you can do it. That's that's the only that's the point. That's the only thing. It's fun. Yes. I I've never gotten anywhere in it, but it's fun. I hey Franco, how are you doing? Do I suppose work. I got some time to kill. You need me? Take no prisoners! I... Ready. 
Casual dungeon crawl enjoyer, nice. Yeah, I'm not very good at uh, traditional roguelikes. Uh, I just beat Tales of Majayal after um, like a hundred hours, <laughs> so. Gotten down to the bottom floor with the orb exactly once and died there because I had no idea what to expect. <laughs> I think that's understandable. All right, let's um, take off. Hang on. Take off Frogman's armor so he can cast Grease. I don't mind. Yes. Oh boy. Oh, you're not wearing armor. <laughs> Damn it. I don't mind. Hmm? So many jobs. So many jobs. What? Ready for action. I don't know how much more I can last. What is required? Vita. Mortis. You need me? Tell me I best serve. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. What is it? <laughs> okay. Hey. Har har har. Yes. It is a shame that no trouble at all. All right, all frontliners focus on what is this? What are we fighting? An ogre, okay. I suppose I got some time to kill. I'm here. Nice. Oh, good. The only ones that got stuck in the entangle are the range. <laughs> well, and us now. did it. Okay, first things first, put your armor back on, please. Healing and a morning star and a caravan contract. This wrinkled piece of parchment appears to be well a written contract of sorts. Balin, deliver these five crates of supplies to the Emporium in, e in East Haven. Make sure to get a fair price from that unscrupulous unscrupulous Kalashite weasel Pomab. Use the profit to acquire three barrels of uncarved scrimshaw. From Gaspar's warehouse there in East Haven. Return to Care Dinaval with the three barrels, and you shall have your agreed upon payment. Keep your eyes to the tundra. There have been reports of orcs in the hills outside of East Haven. It might be wise to use your advance payment on hire on some extra caravan guards. Safe journey. Well, I don't think the journey was very safe. I need this contract, actually. Ready. Done. Got a 
save. <laughs> In case this is trapped. I'll see what I can do. Ready for act right away. I suppose. Oh, all right. Oh, winter wolf pelt. Pure white pelt of the winter wolf is soft and luxurious. Oh, and a spell scroll. Tell me I plenty. For what spell is this? Horror. All enemies within the area effect must save versus spell or flee in terror. Certain creatures, such as undead, are immune to this spell. Cool. Yeah, write it. Write it down. I'm here. Is that all? Okay. I think we've cleared this area out. Head to the exit. How are we doing, uh, experience-wise? I guess we have a ways to go <laughs> until level two. I is that all? Oops. Easy as goblin pie. Most experience comes from finished quests. Okay. Gotcha. I... Maybe I should look around and see if there's more quests to do here before the expedition starts. God, they all talk about Fiddlebender. Go away. Can I mention something? Yeah, go for it. Sorry, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Name's Jonan. Something I could do for you? Uh, you alright? You seem preoccupied. No, no, I'm fine. Just taking in the view of the lake for a bit. Trying to shake these dreams out of my head. The lake's beautiful, isn't it? Dreams? Usually those fade upon waking, friend. Mayhap a day's worth of fishing will chase them away. Depending on the class, race, whatever, the character they talk to, they might have different dialogue. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, well, the dreams have been fishing in me of late, friend. So much so I can barely catch a wink before they rouse me from it. A frustration it is at times. Sometimes it seems like they're more real than the waking world. Well, there's a woman. And don't give me that eye. It's not like you think. She walks upon the surface of the lake, as if it were flagstones instead of waves. She doesn't say anything, just sings. Beautiful songs, but I can't understand a word. Dreams should be a comfort, not a curse. If truth be told, friend, I... Damn it, there's no sense to it. These dreams are eating at me like a starving wolf. I can barely hold a daily thought in my head before the memory of the dreams hounds its way back in there. I... By the hells, I don't know how much more of this I can take. If I can find some way to help you, Jonan, I will. I don't know how I can, but I'll see what I can find out. Eh? You're not playing on a man's hopes, are you? I'd be grateful for just one night of peace. I'll see what I can do. Uh, if I think of anything, I will return. All right. The Dream Song. I met a weary fisherman named Jonan. His sleep has been plagued by dreams of a woman who walks upon the waves and sings to him. We told him we would see what we could do to help him, but how does one drive away dreams? All right, there was an someone by. I guess we should talk to the the church uh, leader again. 
Damn, first one elf, then another. Thought your kind didn't venture too far north. Another elf? What other elf are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> Our kind, as you put it, has been everywhere already. Much of what you humans build your shanty towns upon was explored by elves long before you ever came here. Damn. There's some elf with an enchanted blade up at the Snowdrift Inn. Didn't catch his name. Ervain or something. Queer looking fellow. Oh, really? Well, I want to be his friend then. So many okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, nothing for you. You're a human. What is oh, half orc? Well? Yeah, that townsperson just left. I'm back. I want to speak to you with all with everyone. Oh, okay. Maybe I have to speak to a new person. Oh, thank the gods. Whoever you are, you just you picked the perfect time to wander by. I could really use some help. My name is Myrtle. Who might you be? Your name is Absel, but please, we don't have such time for time for such pleasantries. I need your help. A wolf somehow got into my workshop and is tearing the place apart. It attacked me as I was opening the shop this morning. I was so startled by the sight of the beast that I accidentally broke the key off in the lock while trying to get away. Now I can't even get back get back in. I'd be most grateful if you'd go in there and get rid of that stupid thing for me. Then I could get back to my scrimshaw. Of course, you'll have to find a way to get the door open first. Uh, how am I supposed to get the door open? I don't care. Break it down if you have to. I'm sure it'll be nothing compared to the damage that monster inside is capable of. Okay. I sincerely thank you. The door to my shop is just around the corner here. Please get rid of the, that demonic canine as soon as possible. Ready. All right, we've found ourselves a quest. Maybe you're expected to kind of wander around and do the quests here first. Fighting one wolf is a lot a lot easier than a, a, a horde of orcs. Alright, how do you... There we go. Get him. Oh yeah, Dog was tearing up those orcs earlier. Oh no, Jorts got hit. Yes. You need me. Vita Mortis. Bark, bark, bark. I watch me go. Charlie. Ah, my friend, the wolf is no more. I am now a happy man. Thank you for helping me. Here's a little something for your trouble. That wolf was ripping those shorts. Oh. My inventory is full, so I dropped it on the ground. And a battle axe? I've got like 70 of those, buddy. But thanks. I also got... Uh... Oh, Absol's dagger. Okay. around here somewhere, I guess. Oh. This dagger was created by Absol the Scrimshander, a resident of East Haven. The dagger has a keen edge, and the grip is made of an intricately carved knucklehead trout bone. Okay, cool. I got a knife. That would be good if we had a thief, probably. <laughs> Oh, we don't, so... Whoa, who are you? Strange blue-skinned woman. This woman has the skin like... Has the skin like the surface of the lake. Light green hair and delicate features. Like the of an elf. As, at your approach, she begins to sing a soft flowing song. Like the sound of a great undersea current, but you have no idea why the song reminds you of that. In a moment, the song and the feeling passes, and the woman looks at you, hopefully. 
That song. Are you the woman that Jonin sees in his dreams? Jonin? Yes, Jonin. You are the woman from his dreams, aren't you? Yes, yes. Have your eyes fallen upon him? Do you know where it is he walks? Yes, I spoke to him recently. He sees you in his dreams, but he doesn't know what you want of him. What do you want? I am of the calling Elysia of the Sky's Mirror. My heart is Jonin's, but he cannot see me in the flesh, or else I will become as the currents upon the shore. A gift do I have for him from one of his blood long ago, who also held my heart, but not as Jonin holds it now. Gift? What do you mean? Many reflections of the moon have come and gone since the day in which one of the blood of Jonin fell beneath the waters of the lake. He fought the last of the great white serpents that swam upon the northern winds. The Queen Mother Ikasarakt, who now lies without life on the bed of the lake. A promise was made, and I must honor it. The one with from whom Jonin comes asked I'd see his blade return to those of his blood if the queen's serpent Ikasarakt drank his life. She did, but not before he dealt her a mortal blow. From the depths of the lake I brought the fire-shaped seal that ended her life. It is intended that it be belonging of Jonin now. So you wish to return the sword of Jonin's ancestor to him, but you cannot because the sight of you will make you stream away to water. It is one of the laws and lands beneath the lake's mirror. Will you give this to Jonin and tell him my heart? My songs are his. My heart is his. Uh, okay. Here, then, I entrust this to your keeping until your path crosses with that of Jonin. Return when you have given it to him. I must know if it has found its way back to its home. Okay. Weird. <laughs> but okay. I gotcha. I'll just pick that up off the ground. Thank right you. Right uh, lady, we're we're level one. This feels like a level five quest, but you know what? For you, we'll get it done. Yes, by all means. Another product of those orc raiding parties, I suppose. Well, I won't hold your heritage against you, but you may want to keep your head down. Not everyone is as understanding of oddities as I am. Uh, who are you calling an oddity? I mean no disrespect, of course. I only mean to say you won't find many half-orcs around these parts. People can be downright closed-minded, if you ask me. Now, we could do with a half-orc strength some days when the wood needs hauling, or when someone's house gets buried in the snow and needs to be shoveled out. Are you good with a shovel? Um, are you saying I'm only good for manual labor? No, of course not, but you must admit your physique does lend itself to a certain kind of employment. I'm not saying you should be a farmer. Gods know this would be the last logical place for it. I'm only saying if you wanted to till fields and chop wood, you would have a distinct advantage over the local fare. Uh, okay. <laughs> Was that about raiding parties? Oh, you know how it goes. Uh, aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay, uh, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Eh? Oh, greetings to you again. Forget something last time we spoke? I think I found the reason for those dreams you're having. You're not playing on a man's hopes, are you? I'd be grateful for just one night of peace. The woman in your dreams is a sea spirit, Jonin. Her kind speak through song, which is why you couldn't understand her. Sea spirit? What does she want, then? Why the dreams? She's one of the spirits of the lake that seek to lure men to their deaths, Jonin. The dreams are bait, if you will. If you would be cursed with these dreams no longer, you must give up your worldly possessions and leave this town at once. You can give your permissions to me if you wish. I'll see that they're disposed of. Holy shit. <laughs> or, her name is Alicia. Speaking through dreams is one of the talents of her race. She speaks to you because she loved one of your ancestors and has carried a promise for him for many, many years. Your features remind her of him and your heart is as strong, if not stronger. She has come to love you, but she cannot let you see her in the flesh. She wishes to give you something that belonged to your ancestor if you would take it. Yeah, I don't make the rules, sorry. I will, of course I will. Sorry, it's, well, it's a bit much to be laid upon a fisherman all at once. I, well, I'd be honored to accept anything she wishes me to have. Uh, here you are then. It's the blade your ancestor used against Ikasarakt, the last of the white dragon matriarchs. It lay within the dragon's heart for almost a century at the bottom of the waters. Carry it well. I know that Alicia loves you. Your dreams shall trouble you no more. I the spine of the world. Even shattered this blade's a wonder. But no more dreams, you said. I... 
Well, I'll miss them, actually. Her songs. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Okay. I'll tell her. We're doing we're doing good deeds here today. Uh, we killed a wolf. We killed some beetles. Uh, we reunited a sea spirit with the man she loves but can never actually meet. Doing all sorts of great things today. Have you found Jonin? Yes, and I returned the blade to him. You have my gratitude. Please take this shaped piece of sand which I have taken from the bed of the lake. I have heard that those that walk upon land value such things. Oh, a pearl. Thanks. <laughs> hey, level up. Uh, just delicious smile, though. <laughs> are you doing <laughs> what uh how do, I, how do i level up level up uh you get no proficiency and no skills uh you get a mage spell that's nice uh got six hit points and ten lore what does lore do Uh, do you actually know any spells? You you sure don't. I guess I have to go buy or find spell scrolls for her. Lore is for identification. Oh. Yeah. So you, maybe if you hold this ring, you can identify it. Yeah. Save versus spell plus two. Okay. Ring of Lesser Resistance. Uh, let's go with that to Jorts. Oh, right. Jorts's inventory is full. I'm here. Right here. Okay, we should probably sell all this stuff that we're holding on to. Alright, I'm gonna crowd into the store. I... Do not toy with me. I'll do what I can. <laughs> yeah, battle axes are one gold each. Probably shouldn't have uh, picked all these up. Uh, one of these short swords should go to... Uh, Delicious smile. Uh, is there any use for like pearls or should I just sell them? Okay, so bows are worthwhile, it seems. Gemstones for selling, okay. Silver necklace? Doesn't actually do anything, so I guess we just sell it. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that wolf pelt until we uh, finish this quest, just in case there's like something I, I need it for. I assume if I sell it, we probably don't, but never know.
give the potion to uh, Megatron because he is kind of squishy right now. What happened? Oh, <laughs> somehow I minimized the character portraits. Hey, look at that. We've got money now. Okay, so it sounded like there was an uh, an elf in the inn that maybe we should talk to. What? So be it. Aravane Blacksheaf. Well met, friend. I'm Aravane Blacksheaf of er Evereska. It has been many moons since I have seen friendly faces. Despite the dreary nature of our current locale, East Haven is a welcome sight for these elven eyes. Uh. Hello, I'm Delicious Mile. Tell me, Aravane, have you seen much in your travels? When I set out from er Evereska, I was used to a peaceful life. I had no idea what wonders and horrors the life of adventure would bring to my ever changing doorstep. I'm glad it didn't go on the retreat 20 years ago. Uh. What is the retreat? The retreat is the gradual migration of Tel Kassir to the Isle of Evermeet. It should only take a few hundred years for all the, of the people to complete the migration. Until then, I've decided to explore the rest of Faerun. You know of any other adventurers in East Haven? Yes, I've heard the locals are forming an expedition to the Koldahar Pass to investigate some problems there. I won't be going with them, though I may pass through the area. Have any information to share? Well, I haven't heard any rumors lately. However, when I traveled through Koldahar, I had a strange feeling about something in that valley. It's more than just the weather that bothered me. Something seemed amiss in the mountains, the trees, even the clouds in the sky. Something was out of place. Something was... wrong. Eh? I haven't noticed anything. Thanks for talking, though. Farewell. Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Greetings, traveler. The name's Quimby, and I welcome you to my inn. Hear anything interesting lately, Quimby? Actually, yes, the whole town's been talking about the upcoming expedition into the spine of the world. Excitement! Uh. Akalia, the initiate at the temple's going, though I suppose Everard will stay behind to minister to the town. There's a dwarf named Hildreth who's going along as well, and even Pomap has agreed to go. Ah, uh, what a grand adventure it will be. Thanks, Quimby. Bye. Bye. Done. Okay, let's go turn in this quest. Aha! Okay, tab highlights everything you can activate or pick up or talk to. Hi. What is it? Yes. What's up, my man? It's oh, done. Good. You've returned. What news of the caravan from Cadenifal? I came across the caravan just outside of town. It looked like as if it had been attacked some time ago by orcs. I tracked the orcs to a nearby cave and paid them back for their butchery. The caravan supplies are safe within the cave. Uh, strange. It is not usual for orcs to be so brazen as to attack caravans so close to town. I wonder if it is the anticipation of the coming winter that is driving their actions, or if it is something more. Hmm. In any case, at least we can still retrieve the supplies, thanks to you. You've proven yourself to be quite capable. I'm glad you've decided to come along with us to Kaldahar. We still have preparations to make before oh. we can depart for Kaldahar. Take this list of supplies to Pomarb's Emporium across town. While you're there, you might outfit yourselves with whatever gear you think you may need. Return here when you are packed and ready to go. Oh, Megatron leveled. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay. So skills we can upgrade. Uh, let's put that into find traps. Uh, I don't think he really needs to move silently or hide in the shadows, honestly. But we do need someone who can find traps uh, consistently. All right, monk level two. How close is everyone else? Oh, quite a ways away, Frogman. Pretty close for Jorts. Dog has a little ways to go. And Myrtle has a little ways to go. Okay. Wow. Bars level up really quick. Interesting that different classes have different, like, uh... Experience like thresholds. Oh my god. <laughs> Megatron is so fast now. Oh, that's the. That's the tavern. Easy as goblin pie. Easy as goblin pie. I have come to deliver the supply list from Hrothgar. Very well, give it here. Now be on your way. The expedition will be departing shortly. It'd be a shame if they left without you. More experience. Go buy something. Yeah, get freaking jerk. Um, I don't think there's really much else we need, honestly. I think everyone has the weapons, armor they can use. Ooh. This stuff might be good. Gem bag, scroll case, potion bag. Yeah, okay. I assume that's just like infinite storage for those items. Uh, jump bag. Good for loot storage, okay. Let's give, yeah. Jorts can hold the gem bag. Let's give the potion bag to uh, Megatron and the scroll case to Frogman. There we go. Oh yeah, we can sell that, uh... Okay, it's not infinite storage, it's just more storage. Gotcha. Throwing these bullets on the ground. Okay. Oh, we should get a long sword for Delicious Smile. I think... She's got a short sword right now. Okay, you've got an axe and a longbow. Got a sword and a sling. Two-handed sword. Got a sling with bullets. You've got your bastard sword and short sword and longbow. I wonder, maybe we can get better armor for for dog. This armor is temporary because we're going to have to take it off if uh, Delicious Mono wants to cast spells. And Myrtle has the best armor she can wear right now. up here. Uh, wow, you can wear chain mail? Or splint mail? Sure. Splint mail for dog. Alright, the bard's gonna be in the back row from uh, most of it, but just in case. Uh, they should have a sword they could actually use. 
Okay, I think we're all set. I will assist, of course. Let's go ahead Sorry. and save. Am I missing someone? I'm here. <laughs> I'm missing Jorts. Mug the shopkeeper. Nah. I mean, he's a jerk, but I don't want to cause issues with the town. Hmm? Easy as goblin pie. All right. Oh, we should probably rest at the inn and get our spells back and stuff. this time have a little more than uh, a roof over one's head uh yeah we don't need to heal we just have to get our spells back so that's fine hmm. i was gonna say it looks nice except for the the mouse running through our room Good. well now it's night time <laughs> Rats in the room, one out of five. Or five out of five, depending on how you feel about rats, I suppose. Watch me go. There you are. All is set. The others are assembling as we speak. Are you ready to leave as well? Yes, we are ready. Let us be off. So it was that the patchwork militia set off from East Haven, bound for the troubled village of Kaldahar with the party of strangers in tow. On they traveled, across the windswept tundra of the day, through the foothills of the spine of the world, and upwards on the steep and treacherous trails of the Kaldahar Pass. Mm. Eager to seek out the evil that threatened the pass, they did not expect it to find them first. Oh. High upon the cliffs of the pass, a band of frost giants had prepared an ambush. Hurling boulders and dislodging massive outcroppings of rock and snow, the giants sparked an avalanche that thundered down the mountainside and crashed down upon the heads of the unsuspecting expedition. Well, that's not good. Those fortunate enough to survive the avalanche pulled themselves free of the mountain of snow and bodies that now barred the way back to East Haven. Battered and disheartened by the loss of their comrades, the survivors had little choice but to continue on to Kaldahar, alone. Mm. Tutorial zone clear. <laughs> I'll nigh more. I'm, I'm free of the tutorial now. Merciful gods, you're lucky to be alive. Are you alright? Anything broken? Well bother. <laughs> Hello, Nulani. Uh, we seem to be in one piece. Who are you? No, we're not all right. Half the damn mountain just fell on top of our expedition. I'm just an aging soul who prefers the solitude of these mountains to the hustle and bustle of town life. I tell you, I've lived in this past for years and I've never seen anything like what just happened. You witnessed the avalanche? Yep, I saw the whole thing. I was sleeping in my cave over yonder when I felt the ground begin to shake and heard a rumble something fierce. I stumbled outside just in time to see the avalanche come crashing down. It's a good thing you ran forward instead of back into the pass like the others. Poor bastards. One thing's for sure. I'm not taking their bodies out from under there. They'll have to wait till the snow melts to receive a proper burial. Uh, we're touched by your concern for our fallen comrades. Do you by chance know the way to Koldahar? Koldahar? Why would you want to go to that miserable little burg? Nothing there but a big tree and a bunch of shacks and lean-tos. It's an eyesore if you ask me. Um... It's been word that some sort of trouble has befallen the town. We've come to lend whatever aid we can. <laughs> a fool's errand. You'd be better off worrying about yourselves and le leaving them townsfolk to deal with their own problems. We appreciate the advice. Now, do you know the way or not? <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to point you in the right direction. Follow this trail east through the valley. Coldahar lies just beyond the old mill. Okay. But you do well to keep your guard up. There are goblins everywhere between here and town. 
filthy little buggers. Ever since them townsfolk abandoned their farmsteads, they've been crawling all over the valley like they owned the place. Alright. Hey, look, it's a goblin. Damn, one lone goblin. That's a brave goblin. Okay, there's another one. Wow. Frogman got messed up a bit. And another one, and another one, and another one, another one, like goblins do. True. Ooh. A small shield. I won't bother to pick up the axes. But maybe the shields are worth something. The arrow, or the bows, are definitely worth something. Um, so he said go east. What if we go north? Zones are not really made for exploration in mind, it seems. <laughs> Whoa, big goblin. Goblin Marshall? Oh, he doesn't really know what to do. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Yeah, that goblin was evading for a while, and then he just exploded. Oh, actually, don't do that. Just kidding. Oh. Yeah, we're we're blowing them up. Uh-oh. a door, okay. Ah, I'm full up. Hmm, how do I get up there? Unknown. <laughs> full Kensho on that goblin? Yeah, pretty much. Punched it until it exploded. Hi. I, me will smash your face. 
Why you make Garrick's head hurt, skinny people? <laughs> we make your head hurt because you're a big dummy. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, what's wrong with your head? No, no. Walk here from my cave. Need to answer call. Now cannot. And the head. It hurts. Garrick wants to pound head against a wall to make head okay. He met an ogre in a tower in Kuldahar Pass. His name was Garrick and his head hurt badly. He told us that he came to Kuldahar Pass from his cave that he was called. He said he wanted to pound his head against the wall to make the pain go away. Um... <laughs> you know, Garrig, I don't think that's a very good idea. Hmm, maybe you're right. Don't know what to do. Good luck, Garrig, I, I guess. Poor Garrig. What makes this different than an RTS? Uh, I mean, it's an RPG. <laughs> I mean, I, it, you know, it's pretty similar. It's just that there's no base building element like a what's a lot of goblins. Oh, that's a lot of goblins. We're just gonna. Oh, they're here! Oh, they're here! Now I will show you true hey, George leveled up. Hmm? Just gonna do that real quick. I... They are close enough to punch now, that is true. Yeah. You need me? Prepare to be destroyed! Ready. May I help? So many jobs, so little time. I'm here. For what do you need me now? Nice. <laughs> Punching distance. Thank you, Seeker, for the hydrate stretch. Good idea. Okay, well, that worked out surprisingly well, considering they boxed us in. Oh my god. <laughs> There's more. Where do you guys come from? Now I'm prepared to be destroyed. That goblin was hanging on for dear life. Okay, I'm gonna save. Some quests get solved later on in the game. Okay. Oh, they were eating. Poor Megatron. It's getting beat up. I guess he's so fast, so he ends up going like way in front of everyone else. Oh. Is that all? Back to your weapons. I see there's another cave. A sub cave, if you will. I filled with giant bugs, if I had to guess. Oh, yep, there they are. They ate the beetles, and the beetles ate them. That is the circle of life right there. Oh my god, Megatron. Calm down, buddy. 
Oh, they get sling bonuses or strength bonuses to damage. Interesting. I'm here. Now I will show you true strength. God, Megatron just kicked that beetle in the face. Jesus, Megatron. Smile does not have enough lore to identify them, I guess. Okay, we should probably rest here for a bit. Considering Megatron is almost dead and Myrtle has no spell slots left. I don't remember what what's the math to like uh calculate Thacko. <laughs> because I remember there was like a chart you could uh you could use, but there's also like a way to calculate it, I think. The mill wheel is stuck in a frozen creek. Though it shows Signs of heavy use. There appears to be no way it could operate in its current environment. Die. Die. Let's let them come to... God damn it. <laughs> what a lucky shot. I'm here. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Oh, did I? I didn't save after killing the beetles. Okay, maybe we let uh, you swap to sling. We'll let the warriors deal with the beetles. Yeah, I think as long as Megatron doesn't get there first, he'll be okay. I get now see what I can do. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Uh, Jorts needs a, a heal, though. Ready for action. Oh, there's something here, too. What's this? A Jasper gem. Ooh, what's the gem case? Oh, you do. Ready. Is that all? Wait. <laughs> Wait. There. Is that Tony J I hear in this game? I don't know. I'm here.
Not a problem. Okay. So here's where the goblins that killed uh, Megatron are. Go ahead and save. I easy as goblin pie. Ready. The group is playing for the Egypt campaign, it's really about earlier, and everyone but one is playing a furry. Nice! Hmm? I think I'm just gonna bother picking up arrows if I see any. Frog, bird, snake, dog, and cat people, and a halfling. <laughs> Honorary furry. All right. Got this area mapped out pretty well. Thanks for the follow. Hi, hi, how's it going? Tell me I best serve. Quickly search this barrel. Ooh, a potion. There's a person. There's a goblin, but we can talk to him. What am I doing here? Er, uh, what do you mean? I mean, what am I doing here? Er, I don't understand why we were called here. I met a goblin marshal in Cold Heart Pass who was going mad with pain. He asked us, asked us what he was doing there. We asked him what he meant. He responded bluntly, claiming he didn't understand why he, he and his kin were called to the pass. Called here? What do you mean? It's like a gnawing in my stomach when I'm hungry. I must have eaten everything in this damned pass and it won't let me be. Why can't I make it stop? Ah, Maglubiat, make it end. Hmm. So we met an ogre and a goblin who both kind of said the same thing. Curious. Who are you? I am Uligar, Chief of Bleeding Eye. Bow before me and pay tribute. <laughs> are you serious? Why should I? Uh... Whoa, hold on. Here, take my gold, just don't hurt me. Uh, sorry, no tribute. Farewell. <laughs> are you serious? Do not mock Chief of Bleeding Eye. You give tribute now or die. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to give you a tribute. You insult me. Wolves will feed on your flesh tonight. We'll see about that. Uh. Ready. Yes. So many jobs. I suppose what I guess it's time to kill. Onwards to victory! Uh. Oh, you are in melee range. You You're not attacking anyone. It is okay. a shame that we must resort to violence. 
Nice. Nice. <laughs> well, that worked out well. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. You need me? Vita Mortis No trouble. Ooh. Lure. Cloak. Bunch of money. Let's pass the cloak, cloak to Delicious Smile. Can't identify it. Dang. Blur causes the wizard's body to become blurred, shifting and wavering. This distortion gives the wizard plus one to all saving throws, and all missile and melee attacks have a negative th three penalty to hit them. That seems really nice. Write that. Write that immediately. Hmm? All right, good job, everyone. Random uh, orc chieftain killed, I guess. <laughs> oh, is this this is the edge of the map here? Okay, that's why that bridge is there. Uh, this is based off of Advanced Dungeons of Dragons, but this is the Enhanced Edition, so there is some stuff from Third Edition uh, added in. It's still mostly AD and D though. Ooh. Murder! <laughs> All right, two cold to harm. Fighting their way through the goblin-infested valley of the pass, the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kaldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass, and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. I thought that was going to say the sweet scent of cookies, which would be nice. I wouldn't mind cookies. Yeah, I think original Icewind Dale came out in 2000. Which, actually, that's pretty late for AD&D, because when did 3rd edition come out? <laughs> wow, I got an achievement. Cool. Not a problem. I knew you'd make it through. I just knew it. Well, hooray for you! Now get out of my way, kid! <laughs> wow, some of these dialogue choices are mean. Who are you, and how did you know we were coming? I'm Nate. Arundel said that help was on its way. I've been out here every day, keeping a lookout for you. Where's the rest of your army? Are you just the scouts or something? Uh, who is Arundel? Arundel's my friend. He's the oldest and smartest man in the whole world. <laughs> he can talk to animals, you know. You should probably go see him. He'll be wanting to talk to you, too. Uh, okay, where can we find him? He lives across this bridge on the other side of the brook. Just look for the house with the three big rocks out front. Thanks, Nate. Uh, we didn't bother to tell you about the fate of everyone else in the expedition, I guess. That's fine. Uh. That was eerie. Yeah, they can get disappointed later. Welcome. I've been expecting you for some time now. Oh. You have voice acting. You must be important. Yes, well, bad news travels upon swift wings in these mountains. I know about your expedition from East Haven. I know why you are here, for it was I who sent for you. I am Arendel, known to some as the Archduet of Kaldahar. Though I invite you to dispense with the formalities and just call me Arendel, plain and simple. Titles tend only to serve one's own vanity and aren't really of much use in this small mountain community. You're the Arc, Arc Druid, eh? Then I assume you can tell me what's going on around here. Yes. It was I who sent Alistair to East Haven for help. His death weighs heavily upon my conscience. For not only was he a student of mine, 
but he was also a friend and trusted companion. We will be missed, as will Rothgar and the other members of your expedition. Hmm. You knew Hrothgar? Let us say I knew of him. Word of his deeds has reached even our small, isolated town. I also know that his death, tragic as it is, was no accident. Someone or something did not want your party to reach Kaldahar alive. I just, oh yeah, I've been scribing spells into the Frogman's book. Good to know there's a chance to fail. <laughs> he hasn't failed so far, at least. Uh... Tell me, Arundo, what troubles this town? There are malevolent forces at work in these mountains. Forces that seek to undermine the delicate balance we druids have struggled to preserve for centuries. Uh, malevolent forces. Could you be more specific? No, would that I could. The face of the evil remains hidden, but its presence is unmistakable. All about us, there are signs of its damaging influence on the balance. The unnatural weather... The recent rash of abductions, the numerous monster sightings in the pass, these all point towards something sinister. Even the animals sense something is amiss. I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? Uh, tell me about the weather. Oh, the weather in these mountains has always been harsh, but never like this. Fierce storms ravaged the valley without warning, often lasting for several days at a time before vanishing as quickly as they come. It is barely midway into Leafall, and yet the pass to the south has been snowed in entirely. Weather such as this is mm. most unnatural. Nature presents itself in cycles that are predictable by those who know what to look for. I can only tell you. Oh, yes. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, first, terrible. There were tales told by travelers of companions disappearing into the night, snatched up from their bedrolls as they camped along the narrow trail that winds through the pass. This guy sounds really familiar to the voice actor. We did not think much of these tales, for such occurrences are not unheard of in these mountains. Then one night, Conlon's boy Shemish went missing. The next morning, the whole town searched for the boy, but turned up nothing. He was just gone, vanished, without a trace. That is strange indeed. The boy was just the first. Several nights later, another disappeared. Megan Potts, the local midwife. Her husband, Khalil... Oh, Shim Cummings, okay. ...to the point of madness. With barely a word to anyone, he snatched up his sword and marched off into the darkness after his wife. No one has heard from him since. And now... The abductions are occurring more frequently. Aiden, the old innkeeper from the Evening Shade, was taken only three days ago. Hmm. I can only... As I'm sure you have noticed by now, there seems to be quite a few goblins about. Oh, yeah. A few less it now. It is unusual to see so many of their kind roaming the mountains so late in the year. It is almost as something has drawn them out of their holes. Like carrion birds drawn to the scent of death. As if the goblins weren't enough... Several giants have been spotted moving through the pass in groups as large as ten. That many giants traveling together in such numbers indicates they are organized and are acting with a singular purpose. I have watched their activities closely. Their tracks trace a deliberate pattern through the mountains, almost as if they were on patrol. Hmm. Another thing. While I was out scouting the giants, I discovered other sets of tracks. Tracks I have never encountered before. What manner of beast made them? I could not say. You spoke before a balance. What sort of balance are you talking the about? Balance. It is what the druids of Kaldahar hold sacred and have worked to preserve for generations. It is all around us. It is us. Balance is the harmony that is achieved when man and nature learn to coexist, no longer contending with one another, but coming together as two parts of a whole. <laughs> you really take this nature thing seriously, don't you? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you telling me about the Druids of Kaldahar? Okay, where are we to do about all this? I fear that if we do not soon discover the source of these disturbances, then all that we have worked for will be destroyed. The evil that has come to these mountains infects this town like a disease. As its people suffer, so does the tree suffer 
from the sickness that attacks the balance, corrupting it with its very presence. Already, the circle of warmth that radiates from the great oak has begun to recede. Mm. We were forced to abandon the outlying farmsteads as a result of the shrine's fading power. If we do not take action soon, I am afraid that the life-giving warmth will cease altogether. Both the great oak and the town nestled within its roots will die. This must not happen. We need your help. What? Help you? I don't think so, old man. I'm only interested in getting out of these miserable mountains alive. <laughs> Very well. Together we shall root out this evil that threatens this town. What must we do? I suggest you begin by investigating the Vale of Shadows. Mm. It is a place not far from here. Darkness has always clung to the floor of the small canyon, as if the light of the sun itself were wary of the place. There are a number of ancient crypts hidden within the shadows of the Vale's narrow cliff walls. There have been rumors of the dead awakening <gasps> and emerging from their dusty tombs to walk once more amongst men. Undead? If these rumors are true, then I suspect that whatever is responsible for disturbing their slumber may be behind the other disturbances as well. Yeah, I do enjoy the writing in this. It's, it's vale quite shadows. nice. Learn what you can about the happenings there, then return here and we shall discuss a course of action. Good luck and farewell. Hey, okay, bye. I can't help but see Pete trying to scare Goofy in my head. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I... Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Nothing up here. Is that all? Right then. Right then. All right. Uh, probably more in this town to see. I'm guessing. The inscription upon the stone statue reads, "In memory of the Archdruid Tolbin, founder of Koldar, founder of Koldahar." There's a Potter. Um. Do they still have the rules in AD&D where uh, once a druid gets to a certain level, they have to, like, fight another druid to the death to, like, take their place, basically? And that's the only way you could get to, like, the upper levels? He does really elevate the writing, yeah. He's a really good voice actor. That's some uh, ambiance there. Run! The veil's filled with yetis! Try to outrun them, but two of them still chasing me. Run! Get help! Oh my god, yetis! Got him. Ooh, dog leveled up. What's this? A Yeti pelts. That's kind of weird. Oh. I don't. Yes. I don't mind. Thanks. I thought the time to join my ancestors had finally come. Last time I ever uh, stepped foot anywhere near the Vale, that's for certain. There's all sorts of strange creatures roaming around there now. Vale? The Vale of Shadows. My brother Silas and I made a pilgrimage there to pay our respects to our family crypt like we do every year, but this time, I don't know, the Vale seems different. Cursed, somehow. The shadows have come alive and there's yetis roaming the paths, attacking travelers. Your brother? Where is he? Salus didn't make it. The largest yeti I've ever seen tore out of the snow and took a piece out of him with its claws. He fell, dead as a stone, blood everywhere. There there was nothing I could do. It was carrying our family heirloom, but it's lost to us now. Hmm, I can try and recover that heirloom for you. Can you tell me how to get to the Vale? We are taking the main path, but considering how many beasts are in the Vale, Arendelle may know a safer path you can take. He wanders the mountains quite a bit and knows of more hidden trails than there are branches on the Great Oak. Homeless Southwest. Yeah, I know. I, I I already spoke to him. 
Thank you. Now that Silas is gone, that heirloom's all I have left to remember my family by. I'd appreciate a safe return. Also, if you come across any more yetis, you might want to collect their pelts once you've done away with the beasts. Conlin, the blacksmith here in town, buys the pelts for a fair price. Oric may be able to make something out of those pelts, too. Ooh. Ready. Alright, have a good night, Kutetsu. Thanks for hanging out. I wonder who Oric is. Oh yeah, dog leveled yeah. up. Okay. I'm here. Watch me go. Ernst the Potter. Wow, this uh ambiance is deafening. <laughs> Root Cellar Tavern. Right, let's go to the tavern. Townsperson. Townsperson. Amelia. Uh, Lysan. Which comb? Right. We go? Keep your damn horses stabled. I'll get to you in a mo. Eh? What's this? Some sort of majory? Uh, excuse me? Huh. I'm just surprised to see a new face in Kuldahar is all. Though I thought I'd never see another customer. The past buried in snow as it is. You must be looking for something fierce to brave the winter's chill like that. Uh, of an expedition from East Haven looking for troubles in Koldahar. Oh, that's so. Well, we should all be blessed then. Our bone-carving neighbors trudging through the drifts to make sure we're all right. What's East Haven worried about us for? We've heard of strange events in the region. Goblins, orcs, and other humanoids seem to be gathering in East Haven and Koldahar. Do you have any idea why? No, no, I don't. I mean, we've had our share of raiders before, but this year has been worse than any other I, I can recall. How so? Well, I've heard tell of raiders, goblins and the like, never seen in the past before. Folks, travelers have gone missing and no one knows where. Lots of strange goings on. Got a lot of folks worried. You might want to speak to Arendelle. If his beard's any sign, he's got a lot of knowing to his ears. Um, yeah. You know where I can find a room for the night? Well, you're in and out of luck. We don't have any rooms, but that pug-nosed knee-high at the evening shade, Aldwin, has some rooms for let if you're interested. Better hope you have enough coin, though. I doubt a pile of gold will be enough for that copper-clenching mole. Wow. Jeez. I take it you don't like halflings. It's nothing to do with him being half a man. If so, then most of Koldahar would be guilty. It's his manner. That ill-mannered excuse for a gunny sack came into ownership of that inn recently, and it's a queer thing how he did, too. While well, the previous innkeeper, I Aiden, is one of the folks who've gone missing of late. Thing is, he's one of the only ones that seems to know he was going missing, because he left a claim on who to pass the inn onto in case he needed to be put to sleep with a shovel. Go on. Then, barely a day after he's gone, Aldwin shows up like a winter wolf out of the fresh fallen snow, with a claim in his paws and sets up shop, pretty as you please. Uh, people live legacies and wills all the time. The fool was a right enough fellow, but he had the palsy so bad he couldn't even write his own name, much less a claim. And that's even if he was in the know about his letters, which he wasn't. Hmm. Okay. If it's Amelia you're after, tell that filthy goateed wine spider squatting behind the bar to stop drinking the stock and fire up the oven. But you'd best shout, he's too deep in his cups to hear you if he talks civilized like. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go now. <laughs> yeah, halflings are half a man. This person... Amelia's got some opinions. Uh, heard any rumors? I hear tales. Folks have been talking about the recent avalanche, the haunted veil, missing folks, monsters, and Arendelle. Uh... Okay, I've heard about all this. Let me talk to the barkeep. Well now, seems that the pass coughed up one more straggler. Welcome to the root cellar, stranger. Name's Whitcomb. What's your pleasure? I drink something from the kitchen? Uh... 
Amelia, one of your barmaids, said I should ask you for a meal. I strongly doubt she said as politely as that. A brassy one she is. Her tongue could cut firewood. And it will if she keeps up her chatter. Never you mind. I can set you up with a meal that's to your liking. Just name your pleasure. Oh. Oh, I just did. I just straight up drink that. Okay. This is not a meal. This is just drinks. <laughs> is there a point to drinking? <laughs> that's a that's a good out of context uh, thing to say. Is that all? All right, root cellar, Hyolder's house. Easy as goblin pie. I guess this one's marked, so maybe we'll uh, stop in here. Maybe there's something important. Oh my God, that's so loud. My tempers. The vision speaks true. Oh. You are the heroes of my dreams. You must have us confused with some other heroes. Farewell. <laughs> what are you talking the about? Thank you for the hydrate stretch, Seeker. Tempas has guided me to you. This I cannot say. I know only that the storm of war darkens the skies of my homeland. My people are gathering in numbers greater than any have seen for generations. A king, both new and old, has risen to lead the tribes against the Ten Towns. Hmm. Already, the first snows of winter bear the dark stains of spilt blood. Tell me more of this new and old king. Wolfdane. Alright, have a good night, Seeker. Thanks for hanging out. He was a great warrior from an elder tribe who was slain in battle on the eve of last season. Now his body has returned from death's halls to lead my people once more hmm. as king. Came back from the grave? What kind of undead monster is this king of yours? Wolfdane's flesh is but a vessel, a borrowed tool. The spirit of the new king is much, much older than the form it now inhabits. It is said that the spirit of Jared governs his body. It is this claim that has fueled the fires of vengeance among my people. Jared? Who is he? Jared was our greatest hero. Centuries ago, he united the tribes and led us to victory against invaders from the south. He died on the battlefield in the embrace of infernal magics, bravely sacrificing his life to save his people. Now, after centuries of imprisonment, Jared's spirit is free and rallies the tribes once more in a common cause. Okay. Uh, this Jared was such a great hero, surely his cause must be just, so why are you here? You must understand. I have read the signs. Tempas will not favor either side in the coming battles. Oh, it's part of the expansion, okay. Those of the towns shall be haunted by countless deaths without honor. I have cast my spirit into the nether realm in search of a way to prevent what must not be. My vision quest led me here to find you. You are the answer I seek. You must come to Hengoro, to the great mead hall where the tribes have gathered. You alone can forestall the war between our peoples. Eh, maybe some other time. <laughs> I got other things to do. To do. For near end game. Okay, gotcha. Out of my way, you pious little toad. Jesus. What weapons we have in Kuldahar forged by Conlon the blacksmith. A smithy can be found on the northern edge of town. As for general supplies, our local amateur scholar, Girth, has a shop across town near the western bridge. Uh... Evening Shade. 
Okay. Thanks. What is this? Oh, this just leaves, I guess. Oh, this is a temple. Temple of Ilmadur. Oh, that's probably the inn right there. Is that all? Greetings, my name is Jorts. You must be Conlon, the local blacksmith. You're needing a sharp blade or stout mace, I'm the man to see you. Best take advantage while I'm still here. Are you going somewhere? I suppose so. With all the skullduggery that's been going on around here, I imagine I'll not be around much longer. Oh, so you're planning on leaving town? Ha! <laughs> I wish that were possible. The southern pass has long since been snowed in by this damnable weather we've been having lately. Now I hear tell that even the northern route to the Ten Towns has been blocked by an avalanche. Mark my words, none of us will last through this winter. We're all done for. Uh, well, I have no intention of leaving until I'm satisfied there's no threat to Koldahar within these walls. Huh. I wouldn't expect someone like you to understand. You're not from around here, stranger. You have no idea how much we've suffered. I tell you there's an evil loose in these mountains and none of us are safe. Not even Arendelle can protect us anymore. The Vale of Shadows, eh? That doesn't surprise me. That place reeks of evil. Most folks in town avoid it like the plague. Those that wander off in that direction are never heard from again. Alright, what you got for me? Plate mail? 900 gold, jeez. Oh wow, I should not have bought these shields. <laughs> Every time you say greetings, my name is Jorts, I laugh. <laughs> Good. I do too. Oh, you can identify for me. Aha. Uh -huh. 100? I guess I can't even afford this one. Arrow plus one. Okay. I... I... Is that all? Oops. It's so windy, yeah. Looking for a room, or do you just want to let the chill in? I got no rooms for stragglers. Show some coin, or I'll show you the door. You Aldwin? Yeah, maybe. Do I know you? Um... Amelia, the barmaid of the root cellar, mentioned you. She said you bought this in from a man named Aiden, before he vanished, that is. Amelia, that dried up serving wench with a voice like a harpy? Yeah, I know her, and she's right. I did buy this place from Aiden. I'm beginning to see why the old Dodger wanted to sell the inn and vanish right quick. Why? Well, he stuck me with this hole and not much business to be had. Winter's choked off all the passes. So that means no caravans and no business. I hope old Aiden get, got buried in a snowdrift or used as a chew bone by an ogre. Huh. Anyway, the claim is mine, so I gotta make do. You want a tip? Uh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Aiden wrote the claim to you? Yeah, written in pen, pen and ink, legally binding, every I dotted, every T crossed for any fool to see. So? Well, Aiden had palsy, but you knew that, right? So this call was written to you, of course, assuming that Aiden knew how to write, which he didn't, then the script would hardly be a as perfectly written as you say. Check the upper floor of the inn for a chest. Okay. Yeah, well, old Aiden must have had someone write it for him then, because everything looks in order to me. 
It's not unheard of to have other right, others write claims for you. All I know is the claim's mine. Now, do you want a room or not? If not, then get out. All right. Yeah, we got a little space left, but I don't want to hear any haggling over the prices, you hear? This is only in and town, so don't even be thinking you'll find a better, play, better deal anywhere else. All right. Oh, these are more expensive. Uh, we can do like a merchant room. It's the same cutscene. <laughs> Oops. Wrong button. I. Started a necklace with Zios gems. Ooh. Hmm, I don't have a way to pick locks. Ready. But I do have a jorts. Easy as goblin pie. That lock is pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will assist you in any way possible. I can do it. The dresser is unyielding. It's, this is a powerful dresser. Uh, who's got the best strength? I think Jorts actually does. It would be fine to Berserker Rage just to break open the lock. Oh no, actually, Dog has really high strength. Alright, Dog. I suppose I got some time to kill. Nah, I don't think so. Just kidding. I'll do it. Damn. This lock is unforceable. I'm here. Uh, enraged mind shield. Easy as goblin pie. Damn. All right. Even enraged, he cannot force this lock. Huh. Okay. May I help? Or what do you need me now? You need now. I'm gonna have to get a open open lock spell, I guess. Hmm? Watch me go. Unless right then. Yes. I'll do what I can. Wait, what's this? Eevee. Target had nothing to steal. Well, that's a shame. I was hoping for like a key or something. So be it. Okay, yeah, she can't. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I was like, what happened? Uh the Berserk wore off. I... Is that all? Okay, well, I, I grabbed the necklace, but I can't seem to get into the other chest. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe if I can find, like, an open lock spell or something. Earth's equipment shop. I... 
Where so the wind blows, travelers seek shelter, and supplies, mayhap? Good day and cheer to you, sir. My name is Girth. I tell by the cut of your cloth and your bearing that you are a visitor, fresh to Koldahar. Is there something you wish to purchase? Sure. Mummy's tea. What is this? Cures blindness, deafness, and disease. Sorry, gem. Oh, you can, uh... Ha. Glim Glam's cloak. AC plus one, saving throws plus one. Nice. Might give that to um, Megatron. Leer of Progression, Bardic Horn of Valhalla. What the hell are these? Summon two to four Berserkers once per day. Huh? Usable by Bard. Held under the left arm, this instrument allows the bard to memorize two extra second level spells and one extra third level spell. What the hell? <laughs> Why do you have these? Uh, if you believe, like many of the places in Kuldahar and the surrounding lands, there's much history to be found if one digs deep enough. Nay, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. I dabble in time's passage, perhaps, but it is not a full-time occupation, merely a hobby. I do enjoy learning more of the past and examining trinkets from around the area. I have quite a collection, a little museum of sorts. Some call it junk, but... Keys, notes, books on the region. If you happen to come across any on your travels, I'll pay a fair sum for them to take them off your hands. Aha, okay. If I come across keys, books, or documents I may need later, can I purchase them back? Of course, I purchase such things only for my own interest and to preserve the history and culture of the region. They do not end up on a rattling caravan at some Kalimshun market, that's for certain. Hey, UFO, it's going really well. How are you doing? Ready. Not a problem. Okay, I think I've explored just about everywhere here. I forget. They said someone would take the could make things out of the Yeti pelts, but I forgot who. Maybe it was Ernst. Oh, is there some more over here? I don't know how to get here. Oh, up is this a path? Played through Warriors Woods and got body in one level. I've never played Warriors Woods before. It seems really hard. <laughs> Sneak up on we nod like that. Goblin scum, prepare to die, you filthy runt. Who are you? Me we nod, who are you? <laughs> Cause people roll initiative. Hello, Crown Command, welcome. I am Jorts, who lives here. Surely this tower cannot belong to you. No, tower belongs to master. We nod only servant. Cleans tower, makes beds, cooks tasty food for the master. Uh who's your master? Oruk, the master. Great wizard, the master is. Weenog serves the master, so one day he can be great wizard, too. Uh, okay. Where might I find this great wizard? The master is in study, through door. Go in if he wants to speak with the master. Weenog not allowed in study. Master keeps powerful magics in there. Books, papers, and wizard things that Weenog not understand. Okay, thanks, Weenog. Is that all? Auric the Grey. Well now, what have we here? It's been a long time since I have had guests. Welcome, my name is Auric. What brings you to my humble home? No punt the goblin. Uh... I'd like to ask you some questions about disturbances in the past. Don't kick, Dobby. Ah yes, the disturbances. I'm afraid I can't be of much help to you there. I rarely leave this tower for any reason, you see. My studies prevent me from taking an active interest in the affairs of the people of Koldahar. Their problems are no concern of mine. Uh, 
What about the balance? Surely you must see that what happens to the people of Coldahar will have affect you as well. I see you've been talking to that old codger Arendelle, a fool. I care not for his precious balance or for seeking out his mysterious evil. All that matters to me is my work. Alright, what's so important about your work, buddy? A <laughs> neat wizard. <laughs> Everything! Knowledge is the one true source of power in this universe. Everything else is fleeting. I have spent years collecting these tomes and scrolls you see before you. They are my life's work. Contained within their passages are the clues that one may one day unlock the mysteries of an ancient and nearly forgotten arcane lore. Okay, what sort of arcane lore? My studies revolve around the arcane lore that deals specifically with the creation of mythals. A mythal is a powerful elven enchantment that is essentially a weave of protective magic that can be cast over a vast area. I've discovered numerous historical accounts of elven mages laying such mythals over an entire city. Okay. The details of the accounts are vague at best. The mages of the old elven kingdoms vanished long ago, retreating to the safety and isolation of the Isle of Evermeet. It seems that all their written knowledge of mythal enchantment has vanished with them. For over a decade, I've traveled the realms, searching for remnants of this forgotten lore. That is what brought me to Kuldahar. Not exactly. While exploring the fabled ruins of Mithranor, I came across an old, tattered manuscript buried amid the rubble of an abandoned library. The manuscript made several references to an elven outpost located somewhere within the Spine of the World Mountains. Naturally, I came here to find the settlement. Thus far, I've been unable to locate it. Well, I mean, you haven't le left your tower for any reason, so that makes a lot of sense. I appreciate your interest. If, by some miracle, you find this lost elven outpost, and happen upon any materials regarding mythals, please deliver them to me here. I am willing to pay a handsome reward for such a service. Uh, I want to buy spells. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I can certainly provide you with a number of useful spells for your spellbook. Of course, I'm only willing to offer you certain spells. I fear much of the knowledge I possess is beyond your comprehension. Perhaps in the future, I may be worthy of such advanced knowledge. Okay. Ray of Enfeeblement, Power Word Sleep, Deafness, Cat's Grace, Charm Person... Agonazar Scorcher, Web, Mirror Image, Mouse Acid Arrow, Detect Invisibility, Chromatic Orb, Expeditious Retreat, Sleep Shield, Magic Missile, Friends, Color Spray, Identify, that would be nice. One spell. Uh, find Familiar. What is that? Conversing as a guard, scout, spy as well. It can have only one familiar at a time. Uh, I see. Oh, this is a... Uh, a lot of words. <laughs> okay. We got some... Ooh, bag of holding. Got some magic items as well. Dang. Well, I do want something for Delicious Smile. Uh, should probably get Identify. I want that. Sleep would probably be really good too, I think. Although I think uh, Delicious Smile can only prepare one spell right now. Power Word Sleep. Okay, this just targets one creature. And I think Sleep itself is 2d4 hit dice of creatures. Okay. Uh, right, I should save first <laughs> before scribing these. <laughs> well, there we go. I got identified, but not sleep.
go. Fuck. <laughs> Got one. There we go. All right, that gives Megatron five AC instead of six. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Merrick mentioned he may be able to do something with these Yeti pelts. Yeti pelts are not the best of materials to work with, but Conlan and myself may be able to make some hide armor out of them. It's a bit tougher and stiffer than leather. I'll be able to lay some enchantments into the materials as a cure. It'll take a lot of material, though, and some pricey spell components. We'll probably need 10 belts and, oh, 2,500 gold. Okay. So he can make some, uh, magic armor. So we'll we'll let Myrtle handle the pelts for now, I guess. What's the party? Okay, so this is the party that chat has chosen. <laughs> we have Jorts the Berserker, uh, who belongs to Andy is Bad at Games. Uh, at the Gnome Berserker, I should point out. Notice the two-handed axe bigger than he is. Uh, we have the Frogman, a Elven Fighter Mage. This is King Frogman, the first character. We have Megatron, the Human Monk. This is Calamarici's character. <laughs> Dog, the uh, Human Ranger. Uh, this is Dog in the Cups character. Delicious Smile, the Human Bard, or Half-Elf Bard. Um, this is Cure Wonderful's character. And Myrtle, the half-orc shaman. This is Skeleton Witch's character. So, pretty balanced. We're missing a rogue. Um, that's kind of our biggest blind spot right now. Everything else is fairly well accounted for, I think. We have a lot of... Have up to four, like, frontline characters, which is pretty good. <laughs> no Berserker's your dream class. Jorts is uh, pretty damn powerful, let me tell you. Is that all? You don't want to buy the gem, but you'll buy the, the necklace. Yeah, Bard and Monk can work in a pinch. I think the only thing I'm really missing is not being able to uh, pick locks. Because I think uh, Monks can detect traps. Um, bards can pickpocket. <laughs> Just hack it open. Unfortunately, that didn't work for the one thing that I found was locked so far. Yeah, knock. That's the spell that I need. Orc is not selling knock, unfortunately. I wonder if Girth will buy this uh, airvan contract. No. I'm here. Easy as goblin pie. Oh wait, will you buy oops. Jordan. Right then. You buy this other thing now? Excellent. Hmm? Easy as goblin pie. Okay. I think we're ready to continue on to the Shadow Vale now. I guess I didn't go over here. You can click on a place while having the map open to place the camera there. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is nothing. Nothing. 
Aha. Okay. God, Megatron is so fast. Oh, well, I was thinking I haven't actually. Mm, it's probably fine. I don't... Bell of Shadows, traveling hours eight. Let's go. Delicious Smile is not going to have the uh, sleep spell active, but it sounds like we're going to be fighting undead, so I don't think it really matters that much. <laughs> yeah, words spoken moments before disaster. I guess there are yetis here, too. Oh, like right there. Gain levels, buddy. <laughs> you are uh, pretty pretty low health for a, a fighter. Oh, nice. See, one yeti is no problem. Pretty good experience, too. 420. Oh, boy. Everyone's... <laughs> everyone's getting stuck. I was... I, <laughs> I was Yeti for it, yes. Is the voice for George Tony J? It could could certainly be. I, I don't know. The voice is a uh, fight male fighter something. <laughs> like male fighter two, I think. Oh shit, a lesser shadow. Did you what happened to you? Bad luck. Oh, okay. This time, actions must speak louder than you. Nice. What is it? Oh. Ah, delicious smiles level three already. Uh another level one spell. Nice. Myrtle leveled up as well. Excellent. All 
All right, everyone's at least level two, except for uh, the Frogman. Ready. Oh my god, Megatron exploded. Oh, so he is, <laughs> he is the, the voice actor for Squidward? That's really funny. Oh, this is not a lesser shadow, this is a shadow. Our weapons are ineffective against it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's load. So, can't quite do anything there. Force damage. I don't know if I have anything that does force damage. Can damage with cure spells. Okay. If I can, let's see if this works. <laughs> Spirits will do damage to it. Aha! There we go. The spirits the spirits heard it. take a little while. <laughs> ah, damn. I wasn't sure if uh, the monk would have uh, if the unarmed attack counts as a magical weapon yet, but I guess it's not for a couple more levels. Have um, some plus one arrows. Actually, you're probably better off singing. <laughs> Get 
give everyone that plus one to attack. What was that? Disease? Uh oh. There are plus one weapons to the rest of this area. Okay. Let's see if there's anything up here that makes this worth it. <laughs> you should stop using these arrows. another entrance. Yeah, okay, so you're George is diseased. <laughs> Which is probably not good. Oh my god, it dropped his strength to 16. I don't have a way to remove disease right now. Unless we go back to town. George got the grot. Oh no. So maybe I reload. And we go, we just explore elsewhere until we find a plus one weapon. Is that all? I did also waste a cure spell, so that's right. maybe a good idea. Got Ligma, no! At least it isn't mummy rot. Very true. I managed to avoid the like entire middle of this area. Oh, what is what does that say? Crypt. Okay. That seems like a big yeti. It's not. Okay. Um, I think maybe higher level ones can level drain. Oh shit. Yeah, level drain this early would be turbo fucked. Goblin pie. You need me? It will be done. Oh, Myrtle is overburdened by all this <laughs> Yeti pelt, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, understood. I suppose I get sure. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I'm here. This ancient statue depicts a seated, robed figure, his head bowed in prayer. Whoa! Oh. Megatron leveled up. Oh, dog, you card. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. More fine traps. Oh, he gets, he gets more attacks. Hell yeah. Better saving throws. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> An 
be insta killed from being helpless in any way. Oof, that's rough. I watch me go. Yeah, level drain is just, you've lost all this progress. Ready. Easy as goblin pie. Easy as goblin pie. Do you get levels drained? Oh, like thematically? That's a good question. I don't really know. Ooh, magical bow. What is this? Murex family heirloom. Hey, nice. This is not your family heirloom, so I'm keeping it. Short bow plus one. Nice. Keep that to a uh, dog. Yeah, I guess it's... In my mind, my thinking is like... It's a... Uh, yeah, somehow your body atrophies, like, magically. But it is a very strange, like, concept, like, lore-wise. Uh... What if we leave? No. Okay, that didn't work out. Drain always seemed too cruel to me as well. Are there more yetis in here? There are. There are, in fact, more yetis. I'm glad they decided to just remove it altogether. Locked. 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 It's all locked. All right. Ready. Right there. Ooh. What's this? Ocean of Agility. Raise the dexterity of the imbiber to 18. For 15 turns. That's a long time. A 
mace, but I can't identify it. I assume it's a plus one mace. What is this? Gnomish tools. Hmm. Potion of fire resistance. Oh, that sounds nice. Gems in our gem bag. Ocean of Freedom. Acts like the spell free action when consumed. The drinker becomes completely immune to any effects that hinder action or movement, whether it's magical in origin or not. Although she can still be hasted and receive beneficial movement effects. Duration of the potion is two hours. Yeah, it's weird how there's no... Um, There's no, like, common thread for what they use to define time. Like, rounds and turns are obviously in-game turns terms, but uh, sometimes they also say, like, this last number of seconds or hours. Why fire resistance here? Good question. Ooh. This prayer styles favor on the priest and her allies and curses their enemies. All attacks, damage, and saving throws. Okay, well, this is not usable by me. I don't have anyone who can, who can do priest magic. IRL, yeah, IRL or in game time. Hours is pretty long. Yeah. But then again, it's like, is that in-game time, or is that real time, or what? Glyph of Warding. Powerful inscription magically drawn to prevent unauthorized or hostile creatures from passing, entering, or opening. Hmm, okay. I think I'll stuff these in this scroll case for now. Potion of Genius. Potion increases the intelligence of the Empire by four points up to a maximum of 25. Huh. And hold on to some healing potions. Actually, we should give the healing potions to the frogman. Int helps with scribing. Okay. Oh yeah, I I just mean like in the this game specifically. It says rounds and turns for some things. It says real like amounts of time for other things. Okay, that was everything. That was everything. I'm here. Done. Uh, I feel like we should rest. Yes. Hey, do you not have the spell? I thought you had the spell. You have the spell. Oh, you're wearing armor. Mace plus one. The mace is a direct descendant of the basic club. Um, who wants this? I guess Jorts can have it. That'll be good if uh, we need the the magical damage. Plus one bonk stick, yeah. There's still more to explore.
so many. Oh yeah, while well, I'm thinking of it, let's give the, uh, actually, you have the magical short bow, so we can equip that to launcher of same type already equipped. Okay. But I want it with this one. <laughs> You, you know? I, I... Okay, so there's another crypt, I'm guessing, here. Crypt, crypt. No other way to this. I just managed to not <laughs> explore the first half of the map. Damn, there goes Megatron. Can you lay on hands yet? You can stunning blow. Oh. How do I... I want to be able to, like, quick set that. I'm not sure how. It is Squidward, yeah. for quick looting. Oh, okay. What was here? Total experience value in party, 7%. Percentage of total kills in party. Huh. Who has the highest... 25% of the kills in the party has been jorts for this chapter. 33 has been the Frogman. 16 for Dog. 4 <laughs> for Delicious Smile. And 12 for Myrtle. Interesting. Oh, you're so close to level 2. You're so close, buddy. You're also very close to level 3. Ready. Not a problem. Hey, George leveled up. Ready for action. Vita Mortis Oh, George has more attacks. Let's go. Oh, he's got a proficiency slot too. Uh so Specialized gives you plus one to hit, plus two to damage, and an extra one slash two attack per round with a selected weapon. Master gives you plus three to hit, plus three to damage, and an extra attack. Hell yeah. I'm here. Right then. I'm guessing this is another crypt. There's something up here, too. Oh, yeah. Once I explore this outside area, I'll start doing all the crypts one by one. Oh, man, it's 11 already. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how late it got. Looks like I'm gonna 
Hey, it happened. I'm just gonna stop and level you up right now. <laughs> A lot more health now. There we go. I didn't realize he was not targeting. Finally. Oh, you gonna gonna make it in there, everyone? Ready. I'm I'm trying to gather my party before venturing forth. I'm here. Not a problem. <laughs> Who are we missing? What? Oh, why you didn't come with us? Oh boy. too bad. Oh my god, that's so much easier <laughs> to look at. Ooh, bastard swords. Actually, it might be worth something. Yeah, probably not, actually. Stepping the spell gains extraordinary luck for the next three rounds, receiving a plus one bonus to their saving throws, attack rolls, and minimum damage and healing rolls, as well as plus five percent to all thieving skills. Furthermore, damage dice for all effects outside of weapons base damage is reduced by one. Huh. Weird. Okay. I give this to Delicious Smile. What are these? Raise the dexterity of the imbiber. Antidote. Neutralizes any poison. Okay. this crypt. And then we're going to call it a night, I think. What is that? Carrion crawler. Oh my god. I'm ready to do adventuring. Stuff. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh 
Oh boy. Oh, yep, Jorts, Jorts ate it. <laughs> oh no. Wow, that thing is nasty. Monks are cool at all until you need to punch that thing. <laughs> you ever want to actually touch that? You know what? Good point. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm here. What was this? A warhammer. Okay. Is that all? Oh, good. Human sacrifices in the crypt. That's a lot more skeletons. Can you all please kill the, the fucking skeleton? Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow, what a crit. choked the bones of the dead. They appear to be human bones. Okay, that wraps around. Uh-oh. Everyone take a nice nap, I guess. I suppose. May I help? It will be done. <laughs> Easily done. Ready. Easy as goblin pie. Ready by your lead. I'm here. Easy as goblin pie. <laughs> I suppose, flop. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I'll get out of this stinky cloud. How may I best? I can do it. <laughs> that was really funny. What does this say? This niche holds a stone statue of a robed figure. It is in remarkably good condition compared to the rest of the crypt. Easy as goblin pie. I don't know how much more I can last. Ah, shit. It saves versus death. <laughs> I am your man. Yes. All right, who detects traps? You detect so traps. So little time. Time. Ready. Now I will show you the truth. You'll be a target. No smashing. Yes. Non-lethal, lethal damage. What's this? Short bow. Ooh, some sort of stinky spell. A stinking cloud, there it is. A billowing mass of nauseous vapors up to 40 feet away from the wizard. Any creature caught within the cloud must roll save versus poison or be reeling and fall unconscious for the next round. Unconscious creatures do not awaken when struck. Those who make successful saving throws can leave the cloud without suffering any ill effects. 
Though those remaining in the cloud must continue to save every round. All right. Oh, I guess this trap does not reset on its own. I'm here. Is that all? Pretty strong against living targets. Okay. Where'd those guys go? <laughs> All right, I think this is a good place to end for the night. Let's take a look at our party here. Jorts, the Gnome Berserker, just hit level three. On his way to level four, he is a he is a dastardly little man, <laughs> full of anger and strength. And you have the frog man, the fighter mage, just hit level two fighter, almost level two mage. He is doing pretty well himself. Megatron, a human monk, uh, he is good at punching, uh, not good at taking hits though. Level three, on its way to level four, looks like. Uh, Dog, the human ranger, almost level three. He's very close. He is quite good, quite sassy in his voice acting. Uh, Delicious Mile, the bard, very close to level four. Uh, she's great. Excellent support uh, character. And Myrtle, the shaman, our healer. Uh, and... Spirit Caller. Very close to level 3, it looks like. So we got we got a cool team, I think. Uh, I think we're going to do pretty well. Um, Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a night. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to head over here. I'm going to put on some music. There we are. So, I'm done for tonight, but I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday, at 1 p.m. Pacific, I'll be starting No More Heroes for the Wii. Very excited for that. Uh, not played it before, but I am a big fan of uh, Suda51's games, so I'm excited to start this up. Uh, Monday, at 6 p.m. Pacific, I'll be finishing Vagrant Story. I'm very close to the end of the game, I think, so hopefully gonna finish the game off. Um, I'm going to be streaming Tuesday, but I don't know what yet. So Tuesday at 6 p.m., mystery stream, at least for now. I'll figure out tomorrow what I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, so cool things on the way. Uh, let's see. I have a Discord where I post when I'm going live. I post my weekly schedule there. A lot of chill people hang out there. It's very cool. I'm also on Twitter, co-host, and Blue Sky. You can follow me on any platform if you would like. And that's going to do it for me tonight. I'm going to find somebody to raid. Let's see who's playing video games tonight. I'm just enjoying the music. <laughs> Um, let me see. Uh, Holly, heck maybe, uh, is, it's her Scrimlow Sweep Stakes stream, and she's checking out Izzy's Adventure. Izzy is, of course, the, what was it, 1996 Olympic, uh, mascot? Um had a few video games made about them, so interesting little creature. Uh, let's go ahead and raid Holly. That sounds fun to me. Alright, let me get that started.
All right, folks. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific for No More Heroes. So until then, have a lovely evening. Have a lovely Sunday. No, I guess... Yeah, <laughs> I'll be seeing you in like a little over 12 hours, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, until then, have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye for now, folks.